Whoa. Good morning. Here we are. Shuffle, shuffle. Seriously? Okay. I just... YouTube, you threw me for a loop. Usually when you press live, like select that you want to go live, then you um, it comes to a page where you title your video. That's not there anymore. Maybe it's they've like, changed some things. Yeah. I'm sure it's thereafter. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Maybe happy, it's tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Maybe happy Friday for our folks. Yeah, in, yeah. we had a chat with a friend on Zoom on what day? Tuesday? Yes. And it was Wednesday for them in Australia. It was March already. We were still in February. Is that That's, right? Yes. Yeah. Hello. 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 Can you hear us? I am hoping you guys can hear us better today. We had a couple of people say, oh, that sounds refreshing. Uh, a couple of people say that they were still having sound issues. So let's make sure that we do everything we can to do it as best for everyone. Good morning, Joyce. Joyce says, sounds okay. Yay, thank you. Hi, Claire. Where's everyone from? I Hello love that, from you guys. Hello Houston. I saw Amy in Edinburgh. I saw Amanda in Vancouver. Molly. Uh, grip it and rip it. Oh yeah, for sure. First thing in the morning. This is so funny. Like my husband is the same thing. His caffeine choice is a cold Diet Coke. The only day I do this in the morning is podcast because I did. I don't make coffee, but I'd like a drink. I guess I could drink water, but why? Ew. We're having a party. <laughs> it's a party um, every two weeks. I don't know. I don't. I used to drink. Um, no caffeine because I thought it really interfered with my anxiety and it may have. And then out of, just out of habit, everything seems to be decaf. I'm slowly adding caffeine back. Yeah. And it's cool. Um, hello to Michelle in Italy. It is the afternoon over there. Hi, Cal. Lovely. Snowy um, Minneapolis. I love that because caffeine, uh, the only time I ever quit all caffeine was when I was pregnant. So yeah, of course. I don't feel jacked up on it, the amount that I... That I, and I don't make sure I don't have to bump it up all day. Yeah, like I'm not having espressos all day as much as I would love to. No, but it doesn't affect my like level of energy and stuff. So anyway, oh, I love a good. Uh, I could not handle without coffee in the morning. I love the ritual of it. I love the taste of it. Listen, it does not okay. have to be caffeinated. Guess what? Since I quit smoking, when did we go? We went in 2017 to Texas. I have no clue. Okay. I would have to look it up. Um, so it, I'm the worst I think that. it might be my five year anniversary this April. Of quitting smoking. Quitting smoking. And <gasps> That's you know, huge do you know what my me. morning ritual was? Coffee and cigarettes. Oh, there you go. There's not much better. I feel like that would be right? a, and a I, perfect way to ruin coffee. I actually stopped for a really long time drinking hot beverages. Right. It was just like I would sit, have a cigarette, and a hot beverage. I get it. The way it's related. So like it's that, good. Yeah. I totally get it. Hi, Camro. Sarah. Good morning. Camros. Oh, Sarah. She should she's practically a neighbor. Rhoda from Port Huron. I love Port Huron. Oh my gosh. Priscilla from Chile. Good morning. What? Um Yeah, that's a huge deal. I mean, I don't even know that you'd gloss over that. Quitting smoking. And you've done it more than once, but yeah. this is like, it's a huge deal to just do it at any point. Listen, you, begrudgingly, you're I did it. a specimen of health, and you're going to live forever. I'm still mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it. The day they make healthy cigarettes, Jody's first in line. Healthy cigarettes, or if I make it to 80. I'm gonna and then be... you don't care? No. Okay. Then I'm going to go out smoking. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Did Jody get a new tattoo? I did. <gasps> Eagle eye people. Um, this Jody. The, the second skin is coming up. I ha as soon as I'm done the um podcast, I'm going back to see Max uh, to reapply. Oh, okay. Because it's not sticking. No, it's not sticking. So I did. Jody, get... I didn't even see that yet. Those are stunning. Okay. Do you guys, wow. The colors. Do you guys want to know? I asked them if I could go to the tattoo supply place and to get dye colors really? so they met me uh, we went together that's awesome you should see the pa you should see this citron green i picked wait till you guys see this i can't wait and there's slate and i there, love oh, it's hey, so good good morning vincent good morning good morning vincent um this is early for him no he's later than us vincent in atlanta no but he's usually on his lunch break well he might be it's no. like 11 30 somewhere Oh, maybe. Right? 
Um, this one I took it off. But it's, I feel like that's going to benefit Max to have these colors for lots of clients. I'm, Not just the picky ones that are li- listen, their mother. They have a 50 palette thing already. And I'm like, mm, let's see if we can add a few. Right. I'm a yarn dyer, so. I kind of mm. wanted like modern. Like I wanted a green, but I wanted a modern chartreuse green, that. if that makes sense. Yes. And my, so will lots of My people. red, I wanted, or my pink, I wanted like a lollipop pink. So. Yeah, and you know what they found? That coral that you've got going on there. Um, Vincent, you've outed Vincent. He's like, yeah, I snuck away for lunch early. Yes, I see Way to go, Jody. Um, I love that coral and the red together. Like, it's stunning. Just so beautiful. This will end up a bit dark, same tone, but darker. You've got more coloring to to do? We'll have to go over it again. Hands, particularly are... Resistant? Not resistant, but always moving, and the color moves out a right. little f- faster. I'm you're so brave. Tattoos hurt like a bitch. Yeah, but they do make numbing cream now. Okay, I would be all over that. Yes, it's amazing. Listen, and it's not that I didn't get another tattoo because of it was hurt, it painful. Um, but there's when people are like, did it hurt? Yeah, it did. Like yeah. you have to know that it do, it doesn't. It's not agony. I've had babies. Like mm-hmm. there's worse things. Okay, so. But, and then some, I, I people sometimes argue, well, it's a r- rite of passage to get the tattoo. No numbing cream. You got to sit through it. I had a baby with an epidural and I had a baby without an epidural. Listen, I'm not here to be a hero. No. Give me the I, I'm day. just here for the tattoo and the experience. So yeah, I don't need to feel it. And listen, even tattoo artists are using numbing cream for yeah, themselves. Right. And I mean, there's people that'll sit there for six or seven or eight hours. Right. There's no reason. It does a lot of things to your, like, um, what's the system? Like your... Endocrine? Yeah. Like inside your body, the reaction no to pain. That's it. I yes. Don't I don't know if that's what it is either. But there's things going on you're not really aware of when you're in pain. Well, it's the release of, like, so adrenaline, right, too? And endorphins? Something. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Just give I, me I the had, cute tattoo and I'm but done. But wait till you see this. It's so good with all the new colors. Jody. Max is amazing. I anyway. love that it's a it's a it's really special. Yeah. This project between you and your kid. Star, buy it on Amazon. I'll, I'll star I'll reach out and let you know which kind I was using. It's called Tattoo Numbing Cream. Oh, there you go. Actually, I've used uh, Mad Rabbit 2 numbing cream and they're both excellent. But oh, I've heard actually heard of that brand. Yeah. Love it. Anyway, so that was fun this week, you guys. And Tracy has tattoos. I was- I have one. Jody and I got a grocery girls tattoo. When did we get that? 10,000 followers. Yeah, which I never thought would be an option. Which I love it though. I love it. It's a really cute font. I love it. Mm-hmm. I still would love a sheep. But maybe one. Yes. Day. Um, um yes. Anyway, I love that. It's been a crazy week. I'm so happy to be here. Okay, you guys. I have tons of knitting talk. I have tons too. I know. This is um, going to be a really for reals knitting podcast today. Who are we? Do you know it was one of those nights last night where you'd been up since 7.30 the day before and you've had a busy day and it's like 1.30 in the morning and you're like this. Like you didn't sleep the night before? No, yeah. You, so like you got it up wasn't like you slept in, in. You had a full day, like full day. Jody. And then you were up. Is that menopause? Probably. Okay, I got it. I will come back to you with something I just heard about hot flashes and bad menopause stuff. I got a tip from a knitting friend last night. I'm having hot and, flashes today. And uh, I will pass that on. If it worked, it worked for her. Hot flashes. Yeah. No really? more. Sleeping through the night. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's been, cr- you guys, in a blink, two weeks are gone. Like, I cannot believe we're here. I can't believe it either. We should let everybody know, too, the next podcast we're going to do, we've decided to do a weekend one. Yeah. So it will be two weeks and a couple of days. It'll be Saturday, and it'll be morning for us. So we're hoping people... We haven't done a weekend one for ages, and we just thought it might be fun to do a weekend one. So Um, let me tell you the exact date. I'm like, who was on the ring? That was me this morning. (laughs) Um, The 18th. Saturday, March 18th? Saturday, March 18th. Okay, cool. We'll get all the dot time. We'll put it all out there for you guys. But that's that's when we're Should coming we to you Should we say same next. time? Yeah, Not I to think screw so. too many sure. things? Sure. 
Do you guys know I don't get out of bed Saturday mornings for anybody? No. Except that is you. a fact. Oh my God. I'm getting a haircut today. I Can actually we just think it's really fun how that it's kind of not... like messy and long. It's I your bangs like are long. An anchor woman helmet today. Yeah. Um, what else was I gonna say? Before we get going, we need to put it out there. Knit for food. We almost forgot to talk about knit for food last time. It's so late in the episode that it's embarrassing. But Knit for Food is a fundraiser to fight food insecurity. And it's Laura Nelkin has got it all organized. It's the third year. It's our first year um, jumping in to, to just help out with being a team or whatever you want to call it. Um, and we, Jody put out a challenge last time and said, you know, if we don't need large donations to make a a huge difference. It's true. $5 yeah. can make a huge difference if all of, you know, if lots of us are giving $5. I feel like sometimes somebody thinks maybe, well, my fa- what's, what's, what's my the, $5 going to end? $5, gonna end? $5 yeah. what's the point? If there's a huge point. And you guys came full guns blazing. I have. Donating. Yeah. Let me check right this minute and see our actual total. Um we don't know how we don't know what to expect. It's our first year having um, having this sort of I don't even know what you call it. Being a place you can send pledges. You can just go straight to the website knit for food and don't for them um, donate that way. But or you can there's people's teams. Is that what you want to call it? Yeah, we formed a team so we yeah. can challenge. So we have a link. Our if you friends. Want to donate. So. Eight thousand two hundred and twenty seven dollars in Boom. two weeks. Boom. Knitters, people, thank you. Um, and so the goal for so far, we're they're over $106,000. Okay. So far. This is also what I want to tell you guys. This is really fun. So I'll post about it the last, I'll talk about it more the last time we podcast before this wraps up. But uh, Mrs. Brown's That'll Bags. Be next time. Yes. Oh, yes, you're right. So Mrs. Brown's Bags is donating a bag and Frankie Gray Fiber is donating a sweater quantity of yarn. You can decide their if pick? it's their pick. It's okay. DK. Do you want fingering and mohair? Okay, okay, what okay. color do you want? Whatever. That's going to be the prize for donating. Now, listen, if you donate $5, that's once. If you do it again, that's a second So entry. we'll draw the winner from uh, all the donations from the entire yeah. five or six weeks or whatever. So if been. you think, oh, I want to I want to donate $20 to help them out, do it in $5 increments, you guys. <laughs> so you can donate. If you feel like that's, you want to enter. Yeah, sure. That's super fun and yeah. super generous. And if you were on the fence, maybe there's a chance you could I win a bag of yarn. I wanted to sweeten the pot Jody. just a little because you can get a bag and I'll make the medium size, like I'll make a little bit bigger tote with the pockets on the outside just for the, for these guys. A special, a special bag. That's awesome. Just for you guys. That's awesome. And then that way maybe you'll donate it again for us. So if you haven't heard, you can go to knit. If you Google knit for food, you're going to see what it's all about. The charities that are, it's equally split between four food charities that feed people. And that's Meals on Wheels, No Kid Hungry, World Central Kitchen, and Feeding America. I really like how they're spreading it around to some different charities. I do too. Of course. It's, um, you know, our real job is in the grocery industry and we know what it, we've seen what's been happening with food prices and it just, it's been going nuts and that is way beyond our control. It just starts at the back door. It's coming in the back door. Yeah. That much we have food expensive. bank trucks coming to the store on a weekly basis, so, picking up donations. You know, people, they're not making more money. The grocery bill is not stretching or the grocery budget's not stretching as far as it does. Anyway, we we felt strongly that we really wanted to do what we can for this charity. Um, and thank you, Laura Nelkin. It's yeah. just, it's wonderful. So we do have a link. I think there might be a link in our description right now. It should be. Okay. Food insecurity is at an all-time high. It is. Because of inflation, because of um, the daily living expense right mm. now. Um, so this is why we were so compelled to participate and hopefully share the message yeah. that we would love to help a little bit. Yeah. And, and, you know, yes, we support locally. We support our food bank. Um, we've supported a breakfast program at our local school. Like, mm -hmm. yes, we're very aware that it, it is out there and, and we just really want to do our, 
part. Mm -hmm. So thank you for jumping on. Uh, let's keep going. Now we've got a $10,000 goal. And let's just see where this goes. No, I, no, no, no. <laughs> we just keep bumping it up. Yeah. I'm but, hoping we land closer to 15 to 20. But if you watched last time and you thought, oh, geez, I meant to send my five bucks. Do it now. Do it now. Please mm -hmm. do it. We would really love mm -hmm. if you're able to afford it, which I know is not the case for everybody. But we would, if you are, uh, we would love it. It's mm -hmm. less than a latte. So... If you're for that Starbucks, you know, if you're a Starbucks customer, skip a day. Give mm -hmm. us the money. I love that. Um, it's Teachers Convention in Edmonton. Right now? Yeah. Actually, I did know that. Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Actually, so the teachers have to go for seminars and the kids have the time off. Mm -hmm. Actually, Orange Avocado, you guys, our ju favorite jewelry, they're going to be at Teachers Convention. They are. And that's something they do all the time. I didn't know that. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't put any on today. I was going to, yeah, but I didn't. No. So these lovely <gasps> little, um, these little bracelets right here, they're stretchy, sterling silver beads, but she, they make all kinds of additions and she did. You can customize. Special. You can. Orangeavocado.ca. I believe so. Orange Avocado Jewelry. We'll link it. Yeah. If you Google it, you'll see that the, the um, Sandra and Aaron have tons of customizable, personalized jewelry. They do a ton of that. Tons, I, tons, tons. I think it's so fun to support local, and I just I just love what They're they do. They're amazing people. Yeah. Great, great people. Good morning, Star. So, good morning, Star. Orangeavocado.ca. Star, I can't even. Okay, guess what? That's Star, so nice. your book is being picked up today. Guess what arrived yesterday? What? You guys. Okay. You know why I was late and why I was on the ring? You're I was late. I would no, I was like minutes before I was sorry. Um, I was packing Star's order Aww. to get picked up. Okay, so we talked about it a little while ago, just showing pictures. The newest book from Amy of La Bien Ami. This is book number two. The first one was Worsted. This is a collection of knitwear with tons of beautiful designs in it it's called neons and neutrals mm -hmm. so the first book was all done in amy's brand new yarn worsted which if you haven't tried it's a stunning yarn oh we've talked I about it before wear yeah. my sweater in it all the time yeah. it's really beautiful for wool lovers mm -hmm. love what i love about this one is it's a combination of lots of yarn companies so, yeah. So it's Lobby Enemy, and you'll and you'll be par partnering it with other yarns. So I thought that was really cool. But this is literally down to like my heart. Neons, a pop of neon and a neutral. Are you kidding me? I can't even. This is dream. And the the, the um, it's published by Lina Lina Publishing. So their books are just stunning. They're this They're linen yeah. covered. Can you hear it? Amy has curated. Amy is a boss when it comes to these projects and these now these books that she's creating. This is next. This is over the top. This amazing. is a passionate, passionate lady in yeah. the world of knitting yeah. and yarn and community and all of that stuff. So um, we do have we ordered so many of these books for pre-order and we still have them and if you order them now I mean we've got some we've got some left but um oh, I should take the word pre-order out because no longer is it going to pre-order right tomorrow it's officially not a pre-order everybody who has had an order in the queue for this last month the pre-order yeah um as soon as I go home today I'm packing everybody's order so they're picked up oh that's awesome it's I, I if it was me I would be so excited so well sure I can't wait pre-ordered weeks yes. ago right listen yeah. I've been waiting. Oh, I can't even. Right. So there's this beautiful, I think it's called Wervel. Um, see all my little stickies? I've, I've, I just gave this to Tracy yesterday yes, at work. I know. And I looked last night. I had the evening to myself. Um, yeah, Wervel. I'm actually surprised. This is the one that catches my, caught my eye first. Mm -hmm. what, what's your surprise at? I mean, I adore the gray and the black and the pink and stuff. Yeah. But this palette is The screen. grays and yes. the corals. I know. Okay. There, our friend Rebecca, who we've said before, is a professional sample knitter. Uh, a, Rebecca 
knit some of the samples in here, she's thanked on the last page as a sample knitter. So wow. we know how amazing you are, Rebecca. Um, but the you can see the designs all over Ravelry. You can check them out. You can check them out on La Bien Amis, um, Instagram. This one really caught my eye. It's called Wervel. Rebecca, did you knit this one? This one is by oh, Meka Van Gein. So sorry. I'm I sure don't know that that's I'm terribly sure that's wrong. Not correct. No, I'm I feel sorry. like the exciting thing. I mean, other than how cool, I love a chevron. I love color work, round yoke sweaters. Yeah. The the this is something I've never heard. The yoke is knit at twice as tight of a gauge as the body and the sleeves. So this is one needle. This is another needle and yarn weight. The yarn weight changes from the yoke to the body and sleeves. So and you're going to have a beautiful tight color work, which is what you need for this gorgeous fabric. And then you're going to whip through. Stockinette does not need to be that tight of a gauge. And I was reading on the pattern. Her idea was exactly that. Let's prolong the gorgeous color work, yeah. which we all adore. That's yeah. the favorite part of the sweater. And then let's zoom through the body because it's just plain stockinette. Listen, this is the one, I think I love the whole concept of it. And the first thing I did when I got this book is switch, whip to the pattern for this yes. to see what are we doing? Like, because I'm fascinated by this idea. What are we doing when we exchange? What are we doing? And that's not something that we're going to share because it's part of the pattern. Um, you're going to need, know. you're going to need to get the book to get, that's a big part of this pattern, I think. So no, I'm not going to share that, but brilliant. Rude. And the pictures look, <laughs> Rude. it looks amazing. So the transition is literally twice as dense of a gauge up here as the body. I'm, I'm totally, I knew that. I'm knitting it. I'm knitting it. Oh my God. And I've had the pattern in my thing that I could have read that for so long. Yeah. Cause we were lucky enough because we are stockists. To have this information. We haven't had a copy in our hands. Right. But we've had. There's nothing like you, new book okay. smell. Let the record show. What? I have known secrets. I feel uh, like you're growing up. I don't even know how to explain it anymore. I don't even know anymore. who I am anymore. I don't even know how to explain it. Okay. I can't share everything, you guys, but I am dream knitting in this book. I just want to share. Grocery Girl still has some books. It ships tomorrow if you want one. Uh, and it's no, stunning. it's shipping today, so people have it. Okay, release day. Okay, is tomorrow. Sorry, got it. Right, I would love to. It'll just be in the back of a truck until tomorrow, so you'll get it after the release day. Okay, Darta. Right, maybe that's how you pronounce it. <gasps> Reverse stockinette body, is it? And then you pick yes. up um, a on a on a, a row of knit stitches here. You pick it up and you use fluffy yarn. You use combining yarns to make ruffles mm -hmm. and you get to decide how long are the ruffles going to be you know this one actually forms a chevron how cool is that can't even i can't even there's two hats in here two shawls there's a vest if you were going to cast on a garment yeah what would it be today from this book yes um Wervel, the color work yeah i haven't done color work for a little while i was, I was even just thinking um, and do you see yourself? Shawl people. I shawl know. people. We could spend half an hour talking about this book because it's amazing. I, the hats are stunning. This one also, you guys, if you're not into color work and you still want this textured, I love this. This is by Florence Sperling. It's called Ferrule, I believe. And it's just, it's colors and textures. Plain. This is stunning. I love it. This is stunning. Wow. And another thing I love about this collection is there's one in here that's literally could be your first sweater. Yes, Caitlin. It's combining yarns, so it's neons and neutrals. So there's, it looks like there's an, there's two yarns. You're, it looks like you're holding a, a plain yarn and a fuzzy yarn yeah. together, and you're to making the fabric. And there you go. It's called Confluence, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I never check. Okay, and it's by Caitlin Tarowski, who you might know as Wanderlust Knitter. Yeah, Confluence. <gasps> Look at that. Look at it. So you're making this fuzzy, um, cute, cuter than cute kind of sporty, fuzzy sweater. Twisted rib, 
balloon sleeves. Relaxing. This one is actually calling to me. Relaxing knitting. This one I is would, actually calling to me. Listen, I feel like we're sweater knitters now, and I could I could go for every sweater in this book. Every, I just think it's stunning. Um, the photography, as it's always, nice. this is a treat. This is a make yourself a drink. Sit down, read the book, read the intention. There's a beautiful um, forward in here talking about what their whole goal was. And you can read about the designers. I love it. I'm a book person. Yeah. I love it. Uh, when I when I first heard, when we all first heard about this book that was up and coming, yeah, and the release date was weeks away, I'm like, whoops, how annoying. Oh, because I, I wanted the book. <laughs> what? It is worth the wait. Oh, it's totally worth the wait. Yeah, it's and worth I the love wait. that you can be um, stash diving and combining mm -hmm. yarns. I had to put some cream on you guys. My hands are gonna fall okay. off. They're so dry. I was on the weather app and yeah. it said humidity was like at 78%. Mm. Where? Where? <laughs> Not here. Baloney. Yes. Baloney. Um, should we talk about what we're wearing? Let's do it. It is minute 26. Tracy, you gotta go. I feel first. like we've been, been into knitting for a while already. We have. We started early. So we we were pro, you know, sharing book pad, dream okay. knitting first. Um what this old thing? This old thing? This old Go. thing? Um, this is. Oh, come on. You gotta stand up. Just I to do see a love it bit. a ton. <gasps> okay, so this is the Cozy Classic Raglan by Jessie May. Um, I looked at my Ravelry. I've knit this three times this year, and so I have all the versions to share with you today. Um, this is Sonder yarn in their Sunday Morning DK, and mohair the halo held together. So this color is Sleeping Beauty held with Opera Halo. And this black is like so pure and beautiful and perfect. It's so dark. It's called Crossword. And I had some Shibui mohair in my stash, but Sonder has a black mohair if you want to yeah. get it all in one place. Yeah. Um, I didn't change anything other than adding stripes. Uh, that's a lie. Sorry, that's a lie. Hang on, hold the phone. Whoops. I forgot. The bottom of it is a split hem. And and there's, you know, I added a little stripe on the cast on and bind offs. My bind offs are the so Italian bind off, which is like a, it's like doing Kitchener stitch if it was all on one big long you needle. You guys, it's worth the few extra minutes to it, do. It's so good. Listen, uh, it doesn't even take... <coughs> uh, very long like once if you're someone that's comfortable with kitchener stitch and you don't mind i did not hold my mohair for that sewn bind off that i think would get it dicey bunches, it's it doesn't it pull as nice through i it. would not like the process no and you you're never gonna know you will not no one's gonna know you don't have mohair in your bind off yeah um so i love this pattern i think it's it's lovely you can knit it there's there's all these options in it i choose to knit it boxy that's my body shape. <laughs> but you can knit it cropped. You can knit it with um, bust darts. You can because this is all in the pattern. There's decreases. You don't have for to the make it up. Shaping. You don't have. You can make it with waist shaping. You can make it whatever way you want. But it is a pattern that teaches you. You want to use um, single skeins of speckled yarn. She's like, great. I'll tell you how to fade that yarn. Yeah. It's it is a phenomenal pattern, and I think deceiving when you just look at the picture, you think. It's a, it's a, somebody called it basic. Uh, and I think it looks that way, but I feel like the pattern offers you much more. I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm touch offended by basic. I would say more like it's a classic shape. Yeah. I don't know that they meant not like rude, no, no, but no, I know no. what you mean. Like, I'm just, basic just seems like not a word to use to associate with this pattern. Listen. It's so good. Listen. I, have knit three of them this year mm -hmm. in completely different yarns. All of this gauge, I knit to Jesse's gauge, um, but the fabrics are so different. I, I'm not kidding you when I say I can knit it a hundred times. Did you use the Italian so, so, uh, bind off on the bottom edge as well? Yes. Not just the sleeves. Yeah. Okay. So I, I mean, and I'm a long tail cast on basic bind off forever knitter, like where you just pass the stitch yeah. over. I don't think, I'm not, that look is fine for me. This is long tail cast on. 
I didn't do a fancy cast on at the top. I feel like if you're going to do anything, you can get away with it up on the cast on. Okay, but Rebecca's so smart. She says, the pattern is awesome. It's like a canvas for the artist. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. She's giving you this amazing toolbox, and you can pick and choose. Maybe you don't want to use any of them. Maybe you're like me, and you just want to knit it straight. And because you love the classic shape of a raglan, which mm -hmm. I do so much. But she's giving you lots of options in here, and lots of them are specifically fit-based. Right? So for when you get into the fit of sweaters with pe people that are really busty, they don't always need all this fabric in your shoulders or your arm. Mm -hmm. Like, so she's very thoughtful in the way that she's told you, look, I'll just make it the bust area bigger. You don't so need anything else yeah, bigger. It's not just adding stitches. Yeah. When you're grading, it's not just adding a random amount right. of stitches. It's thoughtful where the increases are. Right. So which I, it makes a difference. You know, I definitely recommend, I definitely recommend the pattern. Um, and I don't think it's the same as, I haven't knit, of course, you can't knit every raglan pattern, but I feel like there's a huge value. You have? You're amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Um, I feel like it's worth every penny. It's oh. the one you're going to knit over and over. If you like raglans, you'll knit this over and over again. Uh, this is the Cozy Classic Raglan by Jessie May. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So this whole thing, worn it twice this week. Oh. Love it. DK and mohair. It's perfect for our winter. Like yeah. cold winter. Yeah. I agree. And I knit it long. It's kind of like to my butt. It's a tunic. It's a real nice length. Yeah. For you. It's not. It's halfway um, down your butt. Like yeah. it's, yeah. it's a nice length. Yeah. It's a really cozy. Yeah. They should call it cozy classic. <laughs> there was a package just detected at my door. Yay. No, what it is. Um, so maybe this is my entry into our uh, grocery girls raglan along. It is. Done. Done. I hope I, hope I win. win. Fingers crossed. Uh, which is going amazing. Amazing. Um, yes, it is. You guys, we have so many FOs already. Um, this bitch was in Ravelry again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get kicked out. Who are you? Right. Um, just seeing everybody. Um, okay. Just everybody's selection of patterns and yarn choices. It's just amazing. It is. And I mean, I think part of the success of it right now is that there's at least three that I know of raglan knit alongs going on. There was the Lento knit along, which was with the Meaningful Stitch and the Crea Bea podcast. And then there's the Bougie Sweatshirt Knit Along, which um, Casey of uh, Young Folk Knits is doing. And we're all kind of like saying, go enter yours there. Go enter it. So you can knit one sweater, put it in all of these knit alongs, and hopefully. Okay, the sweatshirt one, was that a specific pattern? Bougie sweat. No, just bougie just like, sweatshirt. Okay, good. Whatever. So yeah. um, I think that's really cool timing. None of us planned that, but it's. It's fun. And it's all about community. And somebody said, how do you enter? Like, literally, just put a picture in our Ravelry. Like, go to our Ravelry group. You'll see where it says Raglan Along Finished Objects. Um, and put your, show us a picture of your sweater. That's it. Put it in. You're entered. When I was there maybe five days ago, there was like over 40 finished objects. Yeah. So and I it's not even close to the end yet. Then yes. they start getting flooded yes. in. Yes. So you can even just go in there and chat with other knitters. There's a chatter thread. Not in you the FO thread. You can't chatter. Not I just in the realized. FO. I tried to say a nice sweater, but I couldn't. <laughs> That's okay. You'll get the hang of okay. Ravelry one day. Um, but it's not a real formal thing. It's more like just community. We love raglans. We love wearing them and making them. So let's just have a knit along. And we're going to do maybe a round yoke next time for, oh. for knitters. Oh. Right? Whatever. That could be this in, okay. out of... Maybe not round neck. Maybe uh, something with the, the... What's the one where it's not raglan or round yoke? Like a boxy. Like a drop shoulder? Yeah. Or we could do anything but raglan. That's it. Where because I've got can, a couple of patterns where to people show you could today, pick you whatever, guys. Whatever you want. Yeah. It's fun to... Um, we're always knitting sweaters, so the, having a knit along running at the same time... Totally makes sense. It's the community of being able to chatter and see yeah. what people's knitting. People make connections yes. through this, you know, Ravelry and things. Like, yeah. make lifelong connections. Christine said she's ready for a Sparkle Along. I think we'll have to do our second annual Sparkle Along because we've already done one. 
but yes, we need to do another sparkle. I can double dip and add this into both. Only if you don't finish it in time. I'll talk about it, it today. It should be done. It was in time. It should be done. Okay. But I have to talk about it. Okay. Okay. Jody, should we talk about this though? Wearing? Okay. Um, Anoush. Ridiculous. I love knit it so this much. sweater for me. I sent her the yarn. It was. Oh, I didn't bring the bag back. I'm so bummed. I know what it is. Okay, we have me. a tag right here. Yes, Highland. It's a woolen spun. Oh, you guys. This is for Harrisville, Harrisville yarns. It is in ebony. And it's a worsted weight yarn. And it's woolen spun. And it's like a heathered black. Yeah. So it's Which not totally black. I actually, actually, I told Anoush before I sent it, I said, do you feel like knitting this color? Right. Because not everyone loves that. So, um, so she knit it. It's beautiful. The contrast color is Candace. S slow burn. Slow burn. Candace from uh, Farmer's Daughter Fiber. Yeah. It's in the worsted base. Spin cycle dream state in the slow burn color which you can find at, at farmer's daughter fibers yeah this is is like a dream sweater this is what this yarn does you got this is this is an, a stunning color this wedding. is a pattern by native knitter yeah and sheep camp sheep camp yeah i'm gonna oh, stand did we up not say that no okay. um originally when i got this sweater back it's very very cropped in fact i had a noosh knit probably three extra inches and it's very difficult when you don't try it on to know totally. that, that that's hitting right, right? Because it's very cropped in the yeah. pattern. Like you could almost get someone to knit your sweater to a certain length, put it on waist yarn and send it back. Like if you were worried about... Just don't do the ribbing. Don't, Probably, yeah, yeah. right? If you wanted to yes. go that route again. And so when I got it back, I thought, oh, this isn't the silhouette I normally go for. Right. It was shorter than I expected. I actually thought I would have to do sweater surgery again. Take off the bottom, right. knit more of the body, and then Kitchener. But here's the thing. I styled it this morning with a white shirt, white collared shirt. It's long. It goes down to the top of my thigh, right? Those yeah. long shirts, jeans. I love it. It looks amazing, Joe. So, yes, it's cropped and wide. So I feel like if you... Sort of like my body. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to have it that wide, this is, I think, but the exact look, right yes. length. It's very... It's so cute on you. It looks amazing. Because it's such an exaggerated drop, uh, exaggerated deep raglan, that's when, like, my armpit is here. Right. So I love that, that I have all these different silhouettes now in my um, library, but I actually love it now. I love it. And I love... And I got jeans on. I love that it's not the same... Same old, same old. Right. That's, I mean, when we love knitting sweaters, we literally buy one off, cast a new one off. Yeah. So I don't really want them all exactly the same. I don't want all the same color. This is amazing addition. I to actually your was so excited once I put it on. Yeah. And I, yeah, I'm over the moon. It's stunning. Truly over the moon. And you don't knit things with pink in it very often. And the fact that pink is at the top, it's really brightening. Like it looks very good. All this of this look looks at this amazing. Yoke. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. I love it yeah. so much. Anoush, round of applause. It's yeah. gorgeous. It is stunning. Yeah, love what it. What an awesome. I mean, I've loved that pattern for a long time. It's totally going on my needles. This woolen spun, you guys, we've talked about it a million times. We're going to continue to. It's light, it's yeah. airy, you don't feel hot. Right. It's such a gorgeous fabric it to wear. It actually traps air. So even if you're wearing a woolen spun sweater in a lighter weight yarn, like it keeps, it's like this little pillow pack kind of. Yeah. It keeps your, like it keeps you warm. But not, but it's so light also and airy yeah. that you don't feel right. like you're hot. Right. Anyway, I it's perfect. love yeah. woolen spun yarn. Thank you. I so worsted it. weight. And yet not heavy, heavy to wear. Nope. Because it's one spot. Nope. That's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. And I mean, this pattern came out, I mean, is it two years ago? A year ago? Mm -hmm. um, it's, so there's tons of projects on Ravelry. It's so beautiful. I can't tell you how obsessed I now am with this sweater. Listen, the whole color work thing in Spin Cycle yeah. is. Oh, speaking of Spin Cycle, did you shit. guys see what they just released? Is that just today? Yes. 
So if anyone is um, looking for a new bulky yarn, Spin Cycle just came That's out exciting. with this kind of color changing yarn in bulky. Oh my God. What are we doing? Wow. I pr pressed a notification instead of. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. Yeah, totally. And I mean, bulky, come on. We should talk about bulky yarn now. Now that we've, uh, okay. today's a super fun day. Okay, I'm just going to go into, um, why, why don't you show us what you're knitting? Show us your FO. This is it. No, you have your hat. I do. I don't even have any whips, you guys, because I finished my sweater and I volunteered. I Jody was so, I asked if I could test knit her hat. She said yes. Look at all those colors they did, hey? Outstanding. So it's it's the this version of their beautiful color changing yarn woolen spun that's like that. awesome it, yeah in bulky okay awesome so here's my fo <gasps> what it's <laughs> i'm totally in love with this hat even jeff said last night that is a really nice hat he goes i really love the way this is kind of like popping out and i said that's called ribbing <laughs> but yes he tried it on joe it fits him perfectly okay like the way he likes but it's height too all of it really yes okay like i could give him this if he wanted it but i won't i've uh, never knit so many. jody has a brand new pattern out today and this is my version it's called frank and beanie so jordan cute. thought of it it was supposed to be frank's beanie and then jordan just went you know when something must pop yeah. into your head yeah frank and beanie so it's bulky weight, mm -hmm. which I love. And Jody's written the pattern and given you all these options for holding yarn together. And I wanted to make mine fuzzy. So all of this is Frankie Gray Fibers. So Siren, DK, and two strands of the mohair. So just pulling from the inside and the outside of the cake. All three of those strands are my main color. Mm -hmm. So it's super squishy, super oh, fuzzy. Joe. I can't wait. To, I wanted to see this in person. Yeah. Oh my god. I know. I can't even. I cannot even with them. If you're a mohair person, you guys, this is it. Um. Oh shoot! I took. Oh, I know where it is. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. And then for the contrast color, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna make every stripe a different color. I don't have a lot of tonal DK yarn. Look at that. And I have tons of fingering weight. So what I did was I held lollipop. I had that DK. I know, Jody. it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> so, good. so lollipop DK and one strand of citron and one strand of Mayflowers are my contrast color. So I'm holding three strands for the main color, three strands for the contrast color. Easy peasy, so fun to knit. The slip stitch, it's a slip stitch pattern. Mosaic, guys, it's so fun. Which is literally just like code for, you're knitting in stripes. Yeah. You're only using one color at a time. I, it was two evenings, done. Frank and Beanie, so good. Jordan. Okay, so, yes, it's a bulky weight pattern, but I had um, originally had this knit in two strands of DK um held that. double throughout the whole hat so this was my original hat this is elmer and blush love it there's totally. two sizes there's a small medium and a medium a uh, large extra large and i felt like i could get away with that because of the ribbing yeah right that's large extra large and i don't normally knit but I love it's not mo I wanted that one of those just like structured yes. hats that I knew I wanted extra. I love it. I love it. Now, there is a note in the pattern that if you wanted the large extra large, but you want a fitted beanie, uh, follow the 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 uh, repeats only for the small medium. Right. Which fits beautifully. You want it snug. Which is this. Perfect. Right. Yeah. This is the same hat, but one less. I'll and that repeat. would fit my head like close, a beanie style, beanie right? Beanie style. Yeah. My intention with this pattern was, we I want you to have fun with your yarn. Mm -hmm. So I have put a little box in there to say, you know, 2DK equals bulky. Right. Or two fingering plus two mohair equals bulky. Ish, right? Right. And this is really forgiving where if you add one strand of mohair, it's really not going to change. Right. 
the size of your and hat. And I think that's very evident in my hat because I think DK and two fingering is slightly thicker than than the the main color. But it pops though. It really still works. It totally worked. It's not making anything bigger. This hat is the exact same size yes. as it should be. Yes. But I love that the main color is fuzzy and then the contrast color is smooth. And you really get the pop. What do you think of, I I had such a hard time deciding how to do this hat. You can do it a million different ways. I have one to show you as well. But the way I did it, you can literally use mini skeins. You, it's a stash buster for the contrast color. You can yes. hold three mini skeins yes. together. So in the pattern notes, I have some suggestions on mixing different yarns. And just have fun with this hat. Yeah, like totally. hold Hold every strand a different color so you get this really fun, crazy marls. Just have fun with your yarn and knit the hat. Okay, now I need a skein of Spin Cycle Bulky because that could, one strand could be the contrast color. I will color. be buying that today. Do you know that, what I mean? That would be, you, one strand of that could be your whatever one you want. Yes. Right? And it could be leftovers for the main color if you have, you know, or... Yeah. Pull it from your stash, right. buy one skein of Spin Cycle, and you have an amazing And hat. actually, I think I would knit this for my husband in smooth yarn. Yeah. I think he really liked it. Okay. So, so I'm going to I'm going gonna, gonna to show you if, Okay, so before I get too far, don't run away you guys. I just want to say this. The pattern is available on Ravelry um, in my Ravelry store and it's 20% off through the weekend. But if you buy a kit over at Frankie Gary Fiber, you will get a free printed paper copy along with a code to add it to your Ravelry oh, library. Perfect. So it's perfect. a free pattern when you buy the kit. So I just want to show you a few colors. Okay, this is one. Um, this is camo and Elmer. This is it's one of awesome. our new kind of like variegated speckle colors. This was the original pattern I showed you. This is awesome, Jody. And then this is the inverse of it. Is that the right word? Yep. Um, so then that's blush on the outside and Elmer peeking through. Awesome. And is this done with what? No. No. Okay. Yeah. You cannot get two hats out of two skeins of yarn. Of course. Right. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about it. Of yeah. course not. Yes. I thought you originally when could. When you're holding two strands, strands together, no. If this was knit at a tighter gauge with mm -hmm. one strand each, that's different. Mm -hmm. This is, and I love how fast this is. And you the guys, squishy fabric is insane. It really is. Okay. I love it. So I, and then I wanted to play around. I will have a pattern update within probably by the weekend on one I'm just showing you. I want to be able to add, um, I'm doing one with two fingering held with two mohair. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to let the pattern know how much yarn I use. Right. Um, this one was using mohair, two mohair, two fingering for the contrast and just two DK for the outside. I love it. I all. Uh, Yes, you get the mohair fuzz on the inside, but it's kind of lost on the outside. But you get a fuzzy I don't think inside. So. This is. What do you mean? You think it's lost? Well, kind I love not the, really. I love the contrast of color, but also of the texture. I really love that. Yeah. And then. And the mohair, <clears throat> when you're in person, you can tell that the purple's fuzzy. Now that you say that. Yeah. Now that we look, we, we do. Okay, so Kelly, of course. Amazing Kelly. Oh, she always one ups. Um, She's amazing her, with color. Her photography. Anyway, I sent her three combos and asked, would you mind knitting these for me? And so she knit these as samples for Frankie Gray. Um, and the samples you see here, guys, we have... Kits. Kits. Tons of kits in the shop at Frankie Gray. Good. Available now. So this is Siren held with Atomic. Is this Peacock, maybe? Or is it called Siren? Her, her no, post said... it's Peacock. Okay. Siren's a little bit different. Of course you're right. A little teal, tealier. Okay. This is um, <gasps> Pop Rocks. Amazing. And Neon Coral. Love it. Right? Yes, Jody, I love it. And then this. Oh. Da Aquamarine and uh, Big Apple. Love. Are you serious no, with I this? No, I can't even. I did. You know, God forbid I don't put pom-poms, but I almost think... You kind of don't I need love a pom pom. It. Listen, we have an amazing pom pom shop on our website, <laughs> and I want to say you need a pom pom. But you're right. I love this one equally. The, the people that don't love a pom pom are going to be just as happy, I think. And then I just want to show you one that I'm working on. This totally goes with my winter coat. This blue. Yes, Tracy. I, this is going to be so stunning. good for next year. Stunning. 
So this one I'm knitting, we have in the nude on all our bases undyed yarn in the shop. But so this is holding two strands of fingering, two strands of mohair, together with two strands of DK from my um, kit that's the vibe, uh, retro vibes kit. So the outside so is DK the mohair. Minis. DK minis. And then uh, it's two amazing. fingering, two mohair. <gasps> Jody, look, look at the halo. Shit. And actually, I'm making another one. You know what I'm doing? That's what I love too. You know what I'm doing? That's all for the stripes. I'm finishing the hat just in ribbing. Once you get what the pattern is, you can have so much fun. Yeah. Um, I'm just finishing with the ribbing to the same amount of re uh, repeats. I and might then do I'll just do in one color. Gorgeous. Where you're not. Like you're yes. knitting what it says contrast, but it's all going to be the same color. Jody, this is amazing. I actually love the idea of, well, first of all, the colors you put together in that kit are so perfect. Um, and I love the idea of like gradient minis. Lots of people have gradients, right? Where you go from dark to light or light to dark with your stripes. This is an, a stellar congratulations. I think this pattern I is phenomenal. It. And then Tracy said, you need a cowl. Yeah, I think we do. I think so. Yeah, I think we do. Right? It's just cozy. What does the crown look like without the pom-pom? It's pretty awesome. It's perfect. It's a beautiful crown. It. There's a little um, a one stitch in there. You decrease the pearls first. It's and awesome. Then, and then once you knit it, you can just have fun with the pattern. Right. So, I mean... I knit about this much before you're like, okay, now I can just watch TV. I don't have to. It's totally TV knitting. It's one repeat and Potato you know it. chip knitting. Yeah. Let's add a sparkle. I had <gasps> sparkle. You guys. Listen, I, it took me forever to cast on because I was like, do I want to make every stripe a different color? Do I want to add sparkle? Um, and then I was just like, oh, I'm just going to just do it. I'm going to do this. Um, but there's, you can do it a million different ways. I love it so. Maybe I'll make a sparkle cowl. Yes. Right? Part of it is I didn't have a lot of DK, but now, I mean, all these options, hold the mohair, hold the fingering. Have I've never seen so many. Have. Yes. Do you have a good picture of all that stack? I will. Yeah. I, I don't, but I will. Do you want mine? No, you keep it. Oh, I'm going to keep it. Oh. But... Yes, I do for a photo, and then I'll bring it back. Okay. I would love that. Okay. <gasps> And let me tell you, I as soon, I was really proud as, of soon as I cast off, I thought I wanted to make another one. Like, it's that kind of knitting. I just kept wanting to see all the color combinations. That's why I ended up with knitting five, four or five myself. This is, this is the thing when people think, you know, they knit one thing for everybody for Christmas. This is it. Knit the family, all the same hat. Yeah. If you sit down after dinner and knit through till later in the evening... You could possibly get a, a hat done in an evening. Yeah, maybe. Two for yeah. sure. It yeah. didn't take me more than two, and I was not knitting fast. Right. So if you were powered through from dinner till midnight, yes. you'd have a hat. Maybe. Yeah. Tell everybody to get lost. <laughs> Don't get off the couch to pee. Right. <laughs> and knit like the wind. That's no, so it's funny. true. Bulky goes fast. And especially if you're knitting the shorter one, right? Like I knit the I knit large. Yeah, because I, I never do. I just love the structure of okay, it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. This is the small. So if you're looking for a beanie that's fitted, mm -hmm. this is the small medium, or a youth. That's what I. Yeah, small. Like, I is feel like, like small youth. medium. It it can. It's the. They're both really flexible sizes, right? Mm -hmm. I could have almost done small youth. I feel like I could have snuck another size in there, but anyway. Because the ribbing is forgiving. Once people get the pattern, they can see, too, that it's very adjustable by the repeat. Yeah. Right? So if you want to make it an inch bigger or an inch smaller, you'll see how to do that. Um, and it was a great suggestion from Tracy is, after I did the repeats put in there, and I did make this change in the pattern, what your hat, uh, what approximately your hat height after your repeats. And then I added in there in inches how much the decreases are going to add to your finished hat. Because when you're knitters, you kind of know, well, I like my hat to be X when it's done right. in inches. That way you can tweak it to however you right. want to knit the hat. Right. Yeah. 
That's valuable information in a pattern, right? I think so. So it's not like, oh, I got to the end and finished and now I know what the right. height is. Right. I love that. Jody, your pattern it is awesome. Always. Thank you. Always. Thank you. Um, super fun. Thanks for letting me mm -hmm. test knit. Love it. Um, do you have anything else that you've knit? Yeah. Okay. But I feel like you got to talk about another FO. Okay. So I really don't have another fo what but i've been doing i had a project i know right i just finished a damn sweater oh, yeah, and did. knit a whole hat and i've got a test knit oh which yes. i've sworn to secrecy <laughs> no it's not that bad but um i love it i'm loving it so i'm knitting but i'm not sharing how about mm -hmm. that um okay this is version number three of cozy classic raglan my second one was i knit it last summer you gave me yarn. It's yes. in Frankie Gray Fibers. It's in On the Vine and Pinch Me, which I can't even. I love this sweater so much. So the pattern is actually written for fingering weight and mohair, which is how I knit this. Everything. It's my favorite. <laughs> I mean, that's like, yeah. oh, perfect. I love it. And I love the game. Have you heard of it? Fingering plus mohair. Right. Try this it. This could catch on. I think people <laughs> might like this. Um, but the, the neck, so I did use the tubular neck, no, tubular cast on, mm -hmm. which is right in Jessie Mae's pattern. Okay. It's awesome. It's very stretchy cast on, which is why people really like it for neck openings so that it's, you know, you don't strangle yourself or it gets stuck or whatever. Um, I did that. And this is how big the neck line was. Did you not think when you saw that? What made it so big compared so, to this? So it's so it's all <coughs> still on a sixteen inch circular needle. I don't really didn't really know mm. until I was done, and plus it wasn't blocked. Like you don't really know until you're done. How is this different? Okay, so first of all, this yarn is heavier. So even though this is the same gauge as this sweater, because my yarn is thicker, it's a little bit denser. There's not Got as it. much space between the stitches. Right? So yes. it's a little sturdier fabric that way. Plus, I'm thinking I used a four millimeter needle probably on, on this because I, I knit the body on a five millimeter. Mm -hmm. So I would go down a couple of needle sizes. Sure. Um, it was too big. Mm -hmm. It was pretty open and boaty, and that's not my thing. That's so not what you pictured the the collar to be for this it sweater. bugged me every time i wore yeah. it and it bothered me because i love the sweater so much mm -hmm. so i thought well i'm just gonna take off the neckband and knit a new one yeah as you do uh it took me <sighs> you guys i learned a lot okay fails and wins so what i first did is i took a circular stitch holder and went around and i thought i picked up a leg of every stitch on the same row and then I cut my yarn and started unpicking the yarn. Well, it turns out I wasn't on the same row all the way around. So that's a little bit of a panic. Now you've got another stitch holder holding the ones that are below. And it was a little bit of a shit show. Can, I'm I, just being say, honest. can I just say for a second, I'm glad this shit happens to you because we know what happens to me. I feel like me. you would have thrown the sweater away at this point. I'm glad to know someone who's experienced with the knowledge oh you my have gosh. that this happens of course to it's everybody. Happen. So part of the thing that you need to consider too, this is a top down sweater we're talking about. My knitting goes in this direction. I cast on and I'm knitting this way. I'm picking up the stitches here and now I'm going to start knitting this way. And it's now it's, you're in between the stitches yes. instead of in the same. Yes. It looks very similar. But you're actually not knitting the same stitches the same way, which probably could use more explaining. But now you're knitting in another direction, um, which is fine. You can do it. It mm -hmm. absolutely can be done. But where did it go wrong? So it went the... wrong because I, I thought I picked up all the same row of okay. knitting and I didn't. So here's what I would do next time. I would literally snip a stitch and unravel it and then put in my stitch holder. One the, unravel, one pick at up a at time, a time. All the way around. So you know you've got every stitch Listen, on that row. that's going to be faster, easier, yeah. guaranteed to be all the same row. Because really, I only want to pick up the row below this. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I ended up where I had to unravel a row or two. Guess what's in now you're getting into the short rows and, that are built in this pattern. And your raglan increases. And the raglan increases. Yes. So I did it. I picked everything up. I knit my, I actually, this is the five millimeter down here. And I knit this area in a 4.5. So my stitches, because I'm really trying to get smaller to go to the top. So without a lot of extra fabric decreasing. Oh, like, cause if you me. decrease a whole bunch of stitches all at once, then it's going to puckery, right? Like kind of puckery. So anyway, this is a slightly smaller needle that I knit up. And then I went even a smaller needle, 3.5 for my ribbing. But I did run into, oh my gosh, I've just unraveled short rows. Now I've got this weird loop of yarn and kind of a hole in my sweater. Yikes. I, I would have bailed. I'm sorry. I commend you. I do not know how to fix that. So now I'm just like, wing, the whole thing, I'm just winging it. So I, I wove in, kind of did duplicate stitch here to, to fi fill in my hole for the um, <laughs> short rows that went sideways. Now I've unraveled them. But to me, it looked still, listen, the knitting from here up, ribbing, done, it fits like a freaking dream. It's exactly what I wanted. But this area here where I unravel two short rows, and of course they're right on the front of your sweater. It was bumpy. You saw, I wore it to work the other day. I'm not so sure I would have noticed had you not pointed it out. Uh, yes, you would. No. Yes, you would. Okay, maybe a I would A little bit. And you know what? I'm not a perfectionist to the point where it's like everything has to be perfect or I'm not going to wear it. Yeah. But... I wear this sweat. I don't know. I just thought to myself, what often. am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, so last night, I embroidered. Tell me what you think. Yay, nay. This is the sweater. So now the neckband fits like a dream. It's exactly what I want. So did you not love what you were this seeing? This is my old neckband. That's how much wider what it was. Difference. It's like five inches. What a difference. Um, I don't know what somebody's saying there. It's weird. Uh, but here's how it looks up close. Here's so yes, thing. here's, sorry. No. Here's where the raglan increases are starting now. Like I ended up knitting this many rows. Without increases. And that's the other thing I would do differently. I would mark my raglan increase and then do my decreases up that way. I basically knit a round yoke sweater from here to here. I did evenly spaced decreases around. You can't really see that. I'm not worried about the raglan part of it, but the weird bumpy, mm -hmm. I mean, look at the back, you guys, where that where I didn't run into the, it's perfect. So the only could real- you not have, Could you just uh, eliminated those short rows in the front and just straight knitting? You've actually got this loop of yarn now. I understand. So now if I keep, unraveling the sweater more there's more short rows you're going to be running yes. into around the back yes so i couldn't Here's you guys i'm sure there's a better knitter out there that could do this better but i next time i would snip a stitch and just start put that that row i would have solved everything i honestly feel like i want to do it to another sweater just to prove to myself it's doable without a disaster did you feel like you could go in and do that again oh yeah I would could, do this again tomorrow. But can you do it again with this to make it perfect a second time? No, because it's already unraveled down there. If I unravel it more the next row, now you're getting into short rows, another pair of short Got rows. Got it. Listen, I think it's adorable. Yeah, and I do it, too. And I actually it, really like it. If you, listen, you weren't going to, every time you put it, it's going to turn out that know. you're not going to wear it. I love it. I should unpick it and show you what it looks like. Um, I did redo that. No, if you guys, it is... It, it is yucky. There's two little areas that are kind of yucky. And you've used the same... Same yarn. The same this, yarn. I think it's freaking adorable. And I put a couple on this sleeve. Absolutely adorable. Yeah. So I think I like it. Do you know what I mean? Like, embroidering on th garments is an absolute thing. And this is a beautiful fix. I'm thinking... Okay, I'm still thinking about these flowers. I don't know if I love them. I think I do. But I also considered doing visible Garbage? mending oh. visible mending in a a different color maybe i love what like you've a done. woven patch you know visible mending oh, over yeah. like weaving i see what you mean and so intentional it would be intentional it would I also be another intentional thing and somebody kelly said did you block it i uh, yeah 
I blocked it and it still looked bad. And I wore it. Mom and then thinks I, it's cute. Mom? Yes. Um, hi, Mom. Good what morning, else is Mom. she going to say? Garbage? Yeah. Um, no, listen, I am absolutely here for the flowers. Especially especially that you pulled it down onto the wrist. Yeah. Um, okay, well, we'll see. I'm not saying it's perfect and I love, love it. 10 out of 10. Here's what I'm taking away from this. I think I like it. Don't try it, number one. <laughs> Don't do no, it. No, 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 no. You guys... I will do it, and next time I'm going to film it. Yeah. Because I know this can be done properly. But look at all that you learned. I'm not kidding. Yeah. It would have been in the trash. No. The secret is to go right here, right underneath your ribbing, snip a stitch, put it on a circular stitch holder. Yeah. Snip a stitch so you're not... You are not even needing to decrease. You don't you guys, need to fool around with the that raglan. In, that information right there, if that's the only thing that you take is away. That is how you do it without fucking shitting up. the bed. <laughs> yeah. No, I am absolutely, I adore what you've done. Truly, I would I tell think, you. I'm I not so, so sure. I think it's adorable. I literally have never embroidered anything before. So, you Can know you what? Embroidery really people, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay, Donna. So, cozy classic raglan. What did Donna say? She's late. She just got in here. Oh, let's start over. Um, okay. And cozy classic raglan number three was in worsted weight yarn. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the same gauge as this with mm -hmm. a different yarn. Um, Brooklyn Tweed. Okay. I see? adore this sweater. Do we see how big this neckline yes, is? Yes, we do. I think I'm choosing... So here's another thing, because I don't like the neckline so big. I'm going to cast on for the smaller size next time for the neckband. And I'm going to make sure my needle is significantly smaller. This is tubular cast on. Super stretchy. I think that was a no-no for me. Maybe I should oh. Maybe I should redo this neckband. Do it. Please do it. Okay. Because it's it is true. This is made in all Brooklyn tweed. This is their imbue yarn that came out last May. <gasps> I love it. It feels like a sweatshirt, but it's wool. It's merino. It's so nice. And I, you were really on the fence about the color choice with the green. I can't tell you how many times she wears this. They're so generous. They say, "What do you do? You guys want to knit something?" Yes. And I said to Jody, "I'm going to knit a sweater this time." She said, "Oh my gosh, good idea." What color? I said, oh, I picked this green. She's like, are what? you okay? What's wrong with you? So I couldn't, I still look at this and think how much I love it. Mm -hmm. And you're right. Totally out of my established colors I think I love, but it's right in there now. I love it. So maybe I should do that with this one, you guys. Vincent said he's done and it was like an intense ER room. Like It you totally said. is. It totally is. And... Scissors. Needle. I think I needed a, uh, an assistant. And I... <laughs> no, it took forever for I me to like get you the need stitches on my needle. Like a, a headlight? Right. Right. Okay, I'm Do very, it. very Crazy. tempted to try my news. I feel like for you, you need to do it and show that you, you, you can do it. So what would I do here? I would pick it up one stitch at a time, snip it, and put those stitches on one at a time. And I'm going to have to decrease the number of stitches on here as well as go down a needle size. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. And I did do that Italian sewn bind off on the edge, which is stretchy, but it's not as stretchy as a tubular okay. cast on. Yeah, Kev, I would throw it out too. Kevin says he's going to throw it out. Kevin. He said he would have thrown it out. He wasn't sure. You could do this, Kev. I was just determined. Mm -hmm. I love this sweater so much. I can't even tell you. So this is Frankie Gray Fibers, and the color is On the Vine and Pinch Me in both sock and mohair. Tracy, you must. I freaking love this sweater. And it's so soft. Can I thread in the last? You know what? This even had a crocheted edging applied. Mm -hmm. So... It was just too big. It, it was just too big. Mm -hmm. So I'm, and there's, how about this? I was going to say, how many stitches did you end up with? There is eight stitches less. Only eight. And a small, way smaller needle. Way though. smaller needle. Yeah. And a different bind off. Mm -hmm. 
shit show. But I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I kind of think I like the little flowers, you guys. Kind of. I would tell you, Tracy, if I thought, don't do it. It's I'm going to knit something up. for you and embroider flowers. I think it's adorable. I honestly think it's adorable. So anyway, that's my cozy classic raglan. I've knit three. I'm totally going to knit four. See, okay, so I would still knit it again. I'm this, learning. I know. This is what I think. I'm doing it. This is what my thinking was. Because we love to talk about different things and not the same thing all the time with um, our YouTube friends, I always think, let's pick a different pattern. And I do a lot. Right. But I, I feel like this is so valuable if you love a sweater and you found your perfect size mm -hmm. and your perfect fit your perfect recipe look what one pattern and a few changes can do to be a completely different totally. sweater and i mean you've invested in this pattern you you spent money on it and if you're able if you love it enough to keep knitting from it why would you not yes i mean i love round yoke and drop shoulder and all of that stuff too but why would I need another mm -hmm. at that gauge at this 18 stitch gauge? This pattern is perfect. I love that. Okay, you guys, I'm doing this neckband. Do it. I'm, I'm so gonna excited do it to see it because, and so if you're doing this yourself, you turn your sweater like this to pick up your stitches because that's how they're oriented. Is that right? No, they're oriented this way. So pick it up like this like this with the stitches facing you right okay, like perfect. don't have it in front of you with the neckband at the top as much like have I want the neckband I pointing wanna, down I want to pick it up the way I knit it is what I'm trying yes. to say perfect oh this is going to be a thousand times easier I'm gonna I feel I, like it's what you want to do today I kind of do I don't yeah. I don't have no I love it well I have my um, I have a haircut. Because this could be a fix in a day. It, oh, yeah. Like, I love that for you. Easily. I, I would like progress photos, A couple of photos, hours, please. couple of hours. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show this. You guys, I thought it would be done. Look at Jody. <sighs> Both of us. This is what I. Had this, major issues this This is time. what I pulled back. This is my ball of the three strands I'm holding together. This That's is how like much. That's a whole skein of yarn. Yes. Talk, tell me about it. Here's the thing. It was, I had tried it on and it was way too big. Because? Oh my God. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So you guys, this is, um, what is the sweater? Easy like Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. Free pattern. Free pattern. Um, Sonder yarn. When you separate for sleeves, you only cast on one stitch. So I cast on 10. And here's the thing. I did the same thing with with, the, with this because I don't want to knit a sweater that's too tight. No. If I'm going to put all this work in it and it's going to be snug, I'm never going to wear it. Okay, here's the difference. Is that what you were thinking? Let me ask you this. Did you, did you know your gauge and realize you could use extra stitches under there to make it f the right amount of ease? Or did you just go blindly like I did? No. So here's the thing. Here's what I did. I didn't even talk about it. Now you're reminding me. I knit from here to here, I knit size large. Because you could use skinny bitch. No, not in the least. That's how you. But then I did, I added stitches. I was basically in between sizes, basically. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it as big as the extra large, and I knew I needed more room than the large. So I, I needed to add. I think eight more stitches. And so I raglan increase all the way through to the large, just the way they say. And then I want to add eight more stitches. I did two rounds of knitting and both of those rounds, I did raglan increases on the body only. So two all and two. four. Yeah. So every round would be plus four. Mm -hmm. And then I did those two rows in a row, just rag. And then I separated for sleeves. And then I added, I think, one or two more stitches in my underarm so that's just on the body mm -hmm. the problem just make sure you're not adding too many stitches to your sleeve fabric unless you really want a big big sleeve but oh okay because that's how I tried to adjust my size with being in between sizes I added just on the body after so I cast on for the smaller size and then added extra stitches at the very end before I separated for my sleeves 
because I was thinking, why don't you just add the extra stitches all as you're separating for sleeves? But that will add bulk to your sleeve. No, it won't. It will once you pick up those sleeves, right? So the stitches oh, that you add yes. on under your arms, they do become part of your sleeve. Oh, my God, of but course. But you can quickly decrease them. Of course. On the first round of yeah. your sleeve. Okay. My whole point to that was... So what did you, you do? Nothing. I, I didn't You're measure. Like, I didn't know my gauge. I didn't know nothing. I'm just like, let's slap 10 extra stitches. But you did a gauge stitch. swatch. You just didn't think about it. No. Okay. I just added 10 extra stitches, which, which is... is you guys. at this gauge... 10 stitches is times two. So that's like 20, five, five inches. 20 of, stitches. Okay, so that's Ten like on each five arm. stitches, five inches of fabric you've added to your... It was way too big. Which is a lot. Because, because this sweater also has 15 or 14 to 18, I can't, lots lot. of positive ease. Right. So I thought, so I you don't... you just kind of lost it. It's like, what am I doing? think about it. I didn't even think about it. Let's just add 20 more stitches. So I thought to myself, I don't want to end up with a sweater that I'm like, mm, I may or may not wear oh. because this is too good. You're emotionally invested in this one. Yes. A lot. This is too good. Okay. So I ripped back I, I right to where I um, separated and I've just added the one stitch under each arm. So basically following the pattern. Following the pattern, pattern is amazing. Melissa's patterns. How are we such? How am I such a shit show? That's I'm, my whole life. But here's here's also what I thought. Knitting can be unknit. Yeah, it's not permanent. Just like these sweaters, I've these flowers I've embroidered. They don't have to stay there if I don't like them. I can snip my knitting. Nothing is permanent. Yeah, we can unknit things if it's not working out. Mm -hmm. I so, agree. It was too good not to go back and make it right. So you would knit. Like, you came over for coffee. There was a good six inches of knitting, and you're like, I can't. This is not going to work. No, I couldn't. Because I held my breath because I thought garbage was coming. <laughs> you guys, because I tried this on, I'm going to tell you, this neckline is stunning. Wait till you see this neckline. I love it. And that is knit to pattern? Yes. Thank you. Knit to pattern. You're, I do love a good you, rib Wait till line. you see it. But it's like, it's not just a ribbing up here. Like, it's exaggerated, so it goes down like a bit of a yoke -ish. Like a collar. Yes. Not a dicky. No. We're let's not going not, there. Let's not confuse it. Right. It's kind of like a dicky. No. Not even close. <laughs> Jody, that sweater. Show the people up close. Okay, I'll do that. Because the fabric is the dreamiest dreamiest most beautiful it's sunday morning dk it's on their a crew base and it is window shopping for the main dk it is glass um for the mohair for halo yep and i didn't bring my bag because i was so packed but you remember it's that like dove gray mega bling from crafty jackalope okay and it looks like oh the colors are like the colors of an opal the the sequins are they're iridescent. Absolutely stunning. This thing in person, you guys, there's no way it's I, being ca caught on camera as good as it is in person. Here's the thing. I'm not so sure I'm going to wear anything else. Oh, my God. It's... Do like you, you feel different? Like, do you feel like oh, a rock star when you put on I your speckle? I just... Hi, Ellie. I just washed my yellow sparkle sweater again. I wear it all the Come time. Here. I need... Come here. So you said, what am I going to cast on? Again, I don't really want to cast on another mohair sweater because it's getting warmer, right? I don't, re but I really want sparkle, so I don't know what Vincent, to do. Vincent, enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, love Vincent, you. Thanks for coming. Come here, Ellie. Get over here. Um. Anyway, I'm 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 very torn. I really want to knit with sparkles again, Jode. Aw, Ellie, bad news. She's just the cutest. She's a little diva troublemaker. Oh my god, I love her. She is awesome. She's a good girl. Ellie, okay, we're podcasting. Okay, upstairs. Go on. Okay, so that was that was that. Okay, and I meant to show my yarn that I used for my sweater because these are the leftovers I had when when we're talking Frankie Gray on the vine and Pinch Me. Do you still have Pinch Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. It literally is the perfect ballet pink. It's really pretty. It's like those leather ballet slippers. I Jody. love it. 
Oh, okay. You guys, I'm the worst podcaster person. The worst. <laughs> How much yarn did I use for my... What did I do? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, how much yarn did I use for this sweater? I used three skeins of DK Sleeping Beauty, and this is what I have left of, <gasps> of the black. Did you feel like you were playing yarn chicken? Or I was wondering. No, I didn't know I was going to have enough. I was wondering, but I was like, and one skein of Shibui Mohair. Really? So I did not. Sorry, is it one skein of black DK? One skein of black. You guys. Listen, I'm no skinny mini. This yarn goes a long way at this gauge. And just adding the stripes, yep. right? Yeah. And that. I didn't swatch with it, so I didn't waste any in a swatch. And this is two skeins of Halo and one, three, one skein. A one skein sweater. Um, three skeins of the Sleeping Beauty. Love it. And I just put all my ball bands like that because I never remember. Right? Like, I'm like, I don't know. I used four or five. I bought six. <laughs> I got so I literally, I have two skeins left over. That's amazing. So I'll add those to another sweater. I always like, I'm making a hat. Somebody was asking and if this you sweater is like 50 inches and long. Oh, this was also my revelation. Okay. I feel like I'm knitting, I'm, I'm choosing a sweater way too big every time. Right. Or do you feel that way when I put on sweaters for me? No. But I mean, it's what you like. But if you feel you want to knit them smaller, you've got lots of room to knit them smaller. I think I'm choosing a size too big. Anyway, okay. I'll, I'll, well, I'll, I'll measure something that you love the way it fits, or measure your body and think to yourself that how gray Target sweater that I that's obsessed. what you measure. The one I every time I think to myself, I want to knit one of those. I'm actually trying to get Tracy to design one like it, inspired oh by something. Right? Let's give Tracy a round of... Let's Jody. encourage her to do a sweater. Jody. Uh-huh. I think you're so talented. You're so you're creative and so, so talented. Funny. Thank you. Um, what? What else are you going to say? What was I going to say? My sister's an idiot. Um, okay. And if anybody wants bling, you go to the Crafty Jackalope. I don't oh, know where else you get it. Somebody was asking how many skeins I'll use for the sparkle for my sweater. I'll let everybody know that information when I done. I have no idea. I think it'll I have be, 12. It'll be meter for meter, right? So if you yes. need 1,200 meters of your main color, I would get 1,200 meters of sparkle. Yeah. Right? Love it. But okay. I don't know. I'm guys, the worst. I always buy way too much. Hot off the presses let's see there has been oh some... i love it this is brand new i'm thinking of doing that one in sparkles what are these why are these different because one is oversized and one is not no i just think they're totally different gauges this one's fingering this is um this is dk i think that might be bulky okay anyway you guys this one just came out this week or a few days ago in Incredible. So this one's called the Dartmoor sweater, and this one's called the Harlow sweater V-neck. Both are incredible V-necks. This is designed for a little less positive ease. This one is slouchy and oversized, and it looks like different gate like gauges. Yes, it will. Okay, so you know, I'm looking at this thinking I would love a V-neck sweater. This V too deep for me. I would knit that one. And this one's like got, it's literally the exact same construction, but I feel like it's a lower, it's a, it's a more manageable. This one is a folded brim. Okay. This one is not. So there are little changes. Yeah. It is so beautiful. Plus bulky sweaters. Some people don't like how hot that Look might be. Look at this silhouette. Yeah, it's. That, this is what I would choose. That's, a that's class. what you would choose. But it's going to be smoking hot too. Mm -hmm. I guess you could knit it. In like a woolen spun, no mohair. Like you could just figure it out. I love this designer. I Kadri, think, I don't know why we haven't knit. I love it. I love too. I bought lots of their patterns. I feel like this is going to be one of my next sweater cast-ons. I could use a V-neck. Oh, and the the dropped sleeve, drop shoulder. Let me see. Oh. Is that what it is? Oh yes. Oh, I printed on the back. Oh my God, I'm so organized. <laughs> So, suggested yarn for this one, you guys, is... Oh. Okay, the gauge is 15 stitches. That would be mohair and fingering held together. What? Cormo Grande. So, 200... It's DK. You guys. Because Cor Como Grande... So, it would be 240 meters per 100 grams. Okay. Right? Yeah. 
Or maybe a light roasted and even. And something else. So maybe it is a mohair held with it. Oh. Uh, keep you cozy and warm. Top down. Worked flat and in the round. So flat at the top, right? Yes. Yeah, she builds up the shoulder and comes around. That's what you must... Not must. That's what she does to build the V. It's really fun, you guys, to start at the back and build this V. Totally. Um, you had me at 15 stitches and a 6 right. millimeter needle. Okay, but this, you guys, is 19 stitches. Isn't that crazy? I would look at them and think the opposite. Actually, this one is sport held with, with mohair. Wow. 300 yards. What do I know? No. Nothing. No. Zero. Zippo. Yeah, 350 meters for 100 grams held with mohair. That's sport, right? Love it. Okay, and one more, you guys. I had, oh, I saw this. This just came out because I was in Super there. Super cute. This came out today. Super cute. It's marled. It's two strands of DK. No, two strands of fingering. Or DK and, oh, okay. Two strands of fingering held together. Petite knit. Love it. It is in the round. It is a round. Oh, no, it's not. It's a drop shoulder. I'm actually not sure. It looks like a drop shoulder, right? Yeah, the it seams is. right there. It okay. says she's tagged it set in sleeve, though. So maybe it's not exactly what we were thinking of. It's super cute. I saw her pictures of it and okay, thought. Okay, so, but I was under the understanding the way that sweater is. Like, is that not a set-in sleeve right there? I don't know. I I don't know. That's what I understood a set-in sleeve, which just means, like, it's just a drop shoulder set-in sleeve kind of sitch. I thought set-in sleeves were up here, not down here. But I don't know for sure. I, I don't know to, for sure either. We should look it up okay. because then we'll know. I love, you guys, great, great classic yeah. wardrobe staple pieces. Yeah, totally. Love it. Um, I love it too, Joe. Do you have any more knitting? Do I have any more knitting? Not really. No. No, I don't. I have yarn that came. I, I have something else this. fun that came. <gasps> What's that? Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> the what is color. that? Color. This is the color I want to knit Jeff's hat in, Joe. Okay, this is the coffee talk toque. Um, Tracy. Knit in. Fa farmer farmer's daughter no it's not <laughs> frankie gray fibers in granite that color's insane that's a sweater also yes. so tracy Jody, was a so sample cute. knitter for me tracy not this tracy um i'm starting to get samples back you guys are going to be inundated with the amount of stuff i'm going to show I but i'm not going to do it all at once because that I want to be able to post about it. I want to be able to offer yarn suggestions. I wanted to get some amazing knits in Frankie Gray yarn. Okay. And I thought this gave Jody. me such a vibe of your original that I oh, love yeah. it. Oh, it's amazing. She did a beautiful job. She did a it's beautiful job. It's just straight up texture. <gasps> I actually really love it. Right? <laughs> it's so Oop. beautiful. Oops. So this is the coffee okay, talk hat. Was I don't know what's going on there. Okay, we'll have to look at that yeah. later. Um, Jody, the color's insane. That granite color is... Your pattern is stunning. Thank you. Yeah. I do love this okay, one. Okay, coffee talk in fingering and mohair. Totally. It's a DK pattern. This is a slip stitch on the it's edge, so, so it's really beautiful. cute. And it's then, like panels, you guys. Yeah. It's so it is. beautiful. And again, this would be one of those... After a round repeat or two, you would know without looking at the pattern. Yeah, you do totally. For how, a long time. how stunning it is. Um, love it. Love. She did such a stunning job. Didn't Jody, she? this color's amazing. Tracy was a beautiful knitter. I don't know what the hell happened. Just probably need to catch it. That's okay. That's good. <laughs> I wrecked Put it. it. No. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Thank goodness you're Garbage. such a wizard. No. Just the top needs to be pulled again, tight together. Right. I just think just the, the tail. I, I pulled something and the tail popped out. <gasps> so good. Um, I see you've been cranking tubes. I know. What? Can... One more that Tracy sent back. Um, but I'll show these again when I'm going to be doing kits. This is the Mads hat. Ooh, I love it. This is one of my original ones, and my intention is also to kind of reformat the pattern. And add oh, the Frankie. Cause, like, that's, that's awesome. Right? Kinda yes. Like, you, you evolve. 
yes. how you write your patterns yes, yes, and stuff. Yes, 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 yes. I should do that with Coffee Talk, And actually, actually I've tweaked the needle size and the stitch count. <gasps> right? Because you kind of... I should do a new pair of Coffee Talk socks in Frankie Gray and... Yeah. That would be fun. That would be great. That would be so fun. Yeah. So, like, I just kind of tweaked it because I felt like it needed a bit of tweaking. The color is later. amazing. Tell me all about the color. So, this is... Um, is it this? A size medium. No, this is one that's called Teenage Dream. Oh, I love and it. And Blush Mohair. Jody, that's so It's good. a slip stitch kind of hexagon... Um, Texture? Yeah. I love that. I believe the, the original yarn was... Oh, the original was fingering held with mohair, but a beautiful um, sub would be DK. Oh, yeah, And my totally. new pattern, the new update will have both weights for DK and then the two held that's together. That's a great idea. So that's the magic. So are you getting a DK sample too? Yes. You're on a roll. We're, we're making it. You are. Moving and grooving. So that was fun. Okay, I wanted to share really quickly something you can't buy. Sorry. Why? Because, so oh, yes. we do our sock bash knit along every month and people are amazing. They knit socks, they enter socks. And if you knit a sock every month, you're eligible for the draw of the sock bash all-star for that year. Um, Frankie Gray Fibers was so generous. Our prize for that, we've got three winners. We've ordered the 52 Weeks of Socks book, the paper, beautiful paperback. Um, and Frankie Gray Fibers did a one-of-a-kind sock set. One pan, no notes, not to be done again. No. This is, this is it. So we've notified those winners. These are going to get shipped out right away. But the speckles happening on this set. The base of this yarn was Pinch Me. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to Frankie Gray for doing this. That was this. fun. And thank you to all of our sock knitters. So it's officially March. We have a new month. Um, knit a pair of socks, DK yeah. or fingering. There you go. DK it's a pretty super great. Quick. It's a pretty great knit along. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. It's been going on for like six years. Every month for years and years. I love that. Isn't that awesome? I so, wonder. Could there be a person out there who has done every month on every maybe. year? Maybe. That would be insane. Oh my God. That would be a lot of research to figure that out. Get on right. it. Mm, I've done that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank mm -hmm. you. I just wanted to share it. It's called Sock Bash 2022. So our lucky winners will get these. And, you know, there will only be three pairs of socks like that in the world. Love that. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yes. Super fun. Okay, um, I'll just show my tubes. Remember? Oh, you guys, when I sit down at my... We're dying to see your my, tubes. Earl Bacher Gerhardt Speedster knitting machine. Right. Because people will ask. Every video we get an email. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Earl Bacher Gerhardt circular sock machine. We should put it's that amazing. information somewhere. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I sat down and I think I spent six hours at that machine in the last two weeks. Oh, I, I love it. adore it. Anyway. I love it. Um, this was a new one I got. But you guys can't get it because it was an update with Lollipop Yarn. So follow anybody who That's you ever awesome. think, oh, I missed out. Um, is It's called Bitch something. No. Basic Bitch. Is it? Yeah. I love it. Cute, huh? Yes. D uh, worsted. Worsted socks. Okay. This, That's a moody rainbow. I love this it. This was that That's mustache amazing. valentine not, one. Not surprised. That's epic. She does perfectly match skeins. Yep. Like, look at that. I think she was the first one I knew of that did that. Yeah. She that split her self-striping skeins. For us people that really like matchy, matchy socks, we don't have to do any work. She split the yarn for you. And I love that when people do that. Yeah. Because what would everybody guess would be my sock of choice? Do I care that the this, this stripes match up? Or do I have to have the stripes match? Up? I'm shocked by the answer to this because I know you're obsessive about having them match. You guys, that is so. That's it's the so opposite. No, yes. I'm as shocked as you are. I mean, it really does look sharp yeah. when they're, especially when you're giving them as gifts and stuff. Because look at that. Yeah. It's pretty. Oh, I love that. You guys. What is that one? Freckled Whimsy. Oh, it's really amazing. You guys sign up for Carrie's, um, 
Is that a email. Valentine color? Because it reminds me of like hearts and chocolate. I don't remember. You know what? I thought that's I'm... beautiful. I kept the ball bands, and my intention was to put them around the socks, and then I think I threw them away. I looked for them. That does not surprise me. That sounds just yeah. like you. So I just wanted to show you again. Like Carrie is incredible. Like absolutely incredible. This one, they're going to be shorty, so I left quite a bit of the ball so I could do the heels and toes so I love it all that. matches. Super cute. That might have been a club color, but they're so fun. And then one more, that freckled whimsy I showed. <gasps> That's so good. They have this on pre-order. They have them in the shop. For all of us people that love a good pink, they're all in there. Yeah. Actually, Carrie just had a giant update. She just added a ton in DK and fingering to her shop in a million colors. That's fun. Awesome. And oh, then, that's so pretty. This is a new to me dyer, you guys. This is Tia's Terrific Threads. And she has an Etsy I've store. Never heard of that. Tia's Terrific Threads. And I uh, stumbled across her on Instagram. This is If You're Happy Colorway. And actually, she too has a big update on pre orders for her uh, stripes. She has sock and DK, which of course I chose. DK. I love that. And that's called If You're Happy. Right. <gasps> that's a beautiful rainbow. And I love this tonality yeah. going on in here. Yeah, that's really good. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I just it reminds that was it looks fun. like it's been colored with crayons. Almost. Yes. Yeah. I love it so much. Um, okay. We have some fun things that came too. Are you done with your knitting? Are you sharing this? No. I've showed so much. Yeah, I, I think you should show it. You're next. What oh are you going to show? God. Well, I don't have anything of my own to show. I no, mean, I have fun. Show things. something else. We literally had parties in our mailbox. Yes. We had some amazing things sent to us. So I have that to show. I have. Oh, I show, I'll show you something awesome. Okay. Crafty Jackalope, which I love. She is, of course, where you get the bling. She's got kits for all her beautiful patterns. Her website's amazing. She got these new to me bags by Magner. I hadn't heard either. They're in Athens, Georgia. Um, it's like a waxed canvas. Hi, Shelby. Huh? -huh. Shelby's here. Shelby. Um, and look how cute this is. It's got a little leather handle and a drawstring. It's like the perfect little hat or sock or small project bag. And it's like, you it's can adorable. just. adorable. It'll wear beautifully. Beat the heck out of it, yeah. right? It'll be just fine. But it also comes in a larger size. I don't know if she has any left because. People were going yeah. the going there. Oh, somebody said they love Magner bags. Okay. Well, I had never heard of it. I just thought the little um, cute little handle and This everything. is the small. There is a medium. And then there's a really big sweater. Maybe even bigger than a sweater. Big daddy. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I okay. love it. It was really a totally impulse purchase, which I love. That's really fun. And Amanda is so generous. And she sent three kits. For this amazing lucky hat wrap. Remember we shared. Um, it's the drunk knitters pattern. And it was designed and inspired by. Um, someone going through chemo. And Amanda has been kidding this pattern. And it is a fundraiser with money going to breast cancer. Hey so G. Check out the. Um, hey Gay. How are you? Um, and look at the color combos. So you're going to hold all of this together. It's going to be sparkly. <gasps> okay. This one. What I, the heck? I adore the marling contrast that this is going to do. Love. Okay. Here's a glam black and silver. It's like a taupe. It's stunning. It's is it silver or taupe? I think oh, it might be charcoal, silvery, Tracy. Yes. yes. So it's like a carbon gray, but with black. Um, is it mohair? It's all mohair. Or no, maybe that one's not mohair. Okay, this one. What? Look at this sexy taupe. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm pretty it is. Sure, pretty sure that's what this kid is called. Sexy taupe, and again, the lucky wrap hat. So you can buy this pattern. Um, oh no, this one's a free pattern, right? Yes. Okay. No. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Shoot. 1111. Um, let me Yeah, download your free pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, the pattern is beautiful. I think everybody... I just love the design of it. And then it's... Uh, Amanda does such great kits, doesn't you she? You know, it's a collaboration between... This kit is a collaboration between... 
um, the Drunk Knitter and the Crafty Jackalope. I'm obsessed with this color sparkle. Okay, this is going to be stunning. Actually, they all they all are going to be stunning. I can't I can't yeah. pick a favorite. So thank you, Amanda. Just like your kids, you can kind of pick favorites on Depends certain days. Depends what day we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, not really. Not true at all. Jody, who does that? Filed. Done. Filed. Okay, you guys. Um, we were talking a little bit earlier about Kate, Caitlin Tarowski. Yes. Who is Wanderlust Knitter. Yep. She just came out with a pattern today. Today. Okay, I saw this. It's totally It's fun. a tube. Yes. I love a pattern that you can knit on like a 60. There well, we go. That puts us yeah. on mute. Okay. Hello. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> this is adorable. But you know what else she does in this pattern? She brushes it after and all the information is in her pattern. But I don't know if you guys noticed, she's brushed out the yarn here so it's more like a fuzz does she brush the tube and then she brushes the tube you know to give it that halo give it okay. that that fuzz you guys That's hilarious it's so pretty i do love a good scrappy fluffy scarf that's going to be really fun to knit isn't she adorable super adorable and it's going to be way more fun to knit than a typical scarf because you're just going round and round and round i think Flat knitting for me boring. is awful. Not boring. as much fun, super boring. But this, you could literally just have it on the go for whoever knows how long. And you quit when you want to quit. I love her vibe. Did we show the sweater that she has with the beautiful cuff and bomb? No, that just came out. That's the Wanderlust sweater. Why did I think I had showed it already? No, let me get it. You guys won't believe how gorgeous She's the sweater is. She's obviously been uh, knitting and designing her you know what off yeah okay so here's the wanderlust but that's long where's the hot pink one um it's super cute i actually super love twisted stitches i can, can see you in this here we go it's a very classic um non-fussy body and sleeves and then she's added the you, most amazing detail on the ribbing the, the twisted cuff. And listen, super fun. Like, you really don't have to Something's pay. up with that because I think she does the ribbing here and the ribbing on the bottom. And the ri all the ribbing is done without the mohair. Okay. So Seeing this that. Is, this is mixed. This one is mixed bases. See? The bottom does not have mohair. Oh, I love it. Okay. You guys. Jody, look how observant. Okay, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Every because time. Because you're not going to get that crispness of twisted stitches yes. with mohair or, you know, fuzzy alpaca. I, you guys, I am re excited. I have a newfound excitement of all these different yarns together, different bases together. I that. love how she's the, the different, the fuzz Stop and the no it. fuzz. Listen. Listen, fuzz all day for me. Fuzz all day. Fuzz all day, but like no fuzz here with yeah. that little bit of yeah. that tweaked design. Yeah, I love it. I think it's incredible. And if you're not into hot pink and you want sort of like just sort of a woolly sweater, there's her, See, her gray version. She's knit this tunic style. Yeah, love. You guys, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Actually, I I felt, felt like when I saw this that that screamed Tracy this, needs to have this. <laughs> This one is knit in um, uh, Lamb and Kid Todd, which is a yak cashmere base. Stunning. Can you imagine the feel of Come that? Come on. You're never going to want to take it off. Yeah. DK weight sweater. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So that's um, very exciting. Uh, do you want to... Okay. Go ahead. Is this next? Oh, this is that. next. But I'm also going to do kit... Uh, just, you know, post about it so you guys can... Is uh, that Barbie Girl or... Hottest pink? This or is, what is okay. That? So this Jody is, Frankie Gray Fibers has so many hot pinks. I can't. I'm obsessed. Even. It's um, so good. This is the Positivity Beanie by uh, Tori Knits. Tori Knits. Tori, Remember you guys? Tori, you. Tracy knit me that hat with the DK and then the the polka dots were fuzz. Yeah. Same knitter. Tori Knits NYC. This is a fingering She's weight. She's got phenomenal hat. patterns. Yeah. This is a fingering weight pattern though. Just be aware. 
you know what? That's okay. <laughs> Look at that. So there you go. There's Tori's version. I thought it would be fun to do a play on the yellow happy face emoji. So we chose hello yellow as the contrast. It's called the positivity beanie. Yeah. And then um, hottest pink in fingering white yarn. Epic combination. And so when it comes about that this is going to be a kit in the shop, which, you know, they're going to be coming Can't and going. Can't launch them every no. day. Um, this every... will be probably, um, I don't know if you can get a mini out of it, but I'm going to have to see what weight the yarn left over. I don't anyway, think so. we're going to kit it maybe, maybe you could two get minis. 50, yeah, maybe two minis. Two minis. But how about sparkle minis? We have that. How about sparkle on the body of the hat and then... We don't carry the sparkle base. No, but like you could add your sequins. <gasps> yes. Anyway. That's what's so fun about making your own stuff. There's okay. a million... What about... Okay, you know what I was just thinking? I know this is fingering and fingering, but what if you held double mohair? Of so these could. happy faces were fuzzy, sticky outy. Yes, you could. But look how fun this is, you guys. Yes. I love her style. Yeah, yeah, me too. Fun. Me too. Okay, um, my my um, sample knitter Danielle knit this. So Danielle, it's I amazing. bet you she had fun doing. It. I hope she had fun doing that because that's really cute. Adorable. I think I would like that pattern. It's cute, huh? Yes, it's super cute. Um, we had giant parties in our mailbox. So let me talk about this first. Okay. The email I have up is something else. So let's talk about this first. Did everybody see Brooklyn Tweed has a I new yarn base launching March 8th? March 8th. I'm out of my beverage. Well, that must mean we're almost done. What time is it? Um, okay. Oh it's my three o'clock. Gosh. Get out of town. What? <gasps> this is the entire palette. Of it's called Reply and it's Ramboulet. It actually has Tracy. partially, I believe, repurposed product. The this is a worsted spun, but their their plies are lace weight. So it's like six ply, I believe, but they're lace weight, and then chainette style construction um and it's intentionally it's dk 45 gram <gasps> skeins 119 meters it weighs nothing it's stunning it's intentionally purposely made and this palette itself for garment knitting it's like a fashion forward wearable for your wardrobe Okay, so I knew we were getting one of each. Actually, Brooklyn Tweed has been so generous They're with the podcast. Awesome. They reached out and said, we're launching this. We would love to send you something. What would you like? And I said to Tracy, let's ask for the whole palette. Right. And we knew it wasn't a million skeins. It's a lot. but It is a lot. But listen, I also think we would love to give it a really good true review. We would love to knit something with yeah. it. Because this is special. It feels incredible. The colors alone are just so beautiful. And so this is dyed oh. in the skein. So it is spun and all of that stuff. And then in a natural shade and dyed after. Instead of like dyeing the wool and then spinning the product. So um, Brooklyn Tweed is amazing. Their passion is American wool. And the whole process for this, including, I believe, the fiber, um, it's lofty Rambouillet fleece from Wyoming, and then they move around the states for the scouring and the spinning and the dyeing, but it is all U.S. You guys, look at this base. I'm dying to make um, a swatch or something out of this because seeing it knit up, uh, Brooklyn Tweed has some beautiful patterns coming out. You're going to see the texture sh that it makes is just crisp and beautiful. And that's worsted spun, right? Like, it's just very, very crisp. The bounce, the bounce that this yarn gives, the softness, the buttery softness and the lightness. Look at that wow. ribbing just pop. 
that is, I hope we're allowed to share that. That's going to be the Nido hat. It's brioche. Oh, fun. Yeah. You By guys, Jared Flood. I'm obsessed with this palette right here. So next week, March 8th, is when you can purchase the yarn. Go to Brooklyn Tweed and get the yarn. You're going to be able to go to Ravelry and Brooklyn Tweed. So this Nido hat basically serves as a swatch for the Nido sweater. <gasps> you guys. I feel like that needs a pop of what? color in there. Jody, I was playing with all of this yesterday when it it, it like came. Like clay and forest color and this burnt orange. I just love the DK weight. That's Ooh. such a beautiful thing. Weight to... Look at these two combos. Yeah. Stunning. Or if you want to just keep blues. So thank you, Brooklyn Tweed, for thinking of us to help share, you know, spread the word. My God, these bands are all falling off. Putty. I bet you it's this That's one. That's putty. Yeah. Which is like, is it gray? Is it taupe? Is it, it's such a wearable. Is it fabulous? I think it's like a warm yes. gray. Would you call it like a warm, taupey kind of, it totally looks like grout or putty. Like it's, it is Do perfectly you guys, the combinations. The combinations. The warm colors, the cool. Anyway, it was pretty epic. That's super classic. So and I'm gonna take two, uh, I'm gonna take something. I wanna I wanna knit with it. I wanna see what Me fabric too. it makes. So let's just split up colors. And then I mean maybe you're gonna want a sweater. Maybe you're gonna wanna order a, a sweater's worth of something. It's pretty stunning. It's so good. Yeah, it is. Their their passion is American wool, and they just seem to come out with every time there's a new release, it's very different from what came out the previous. So it's time. not like any base this that I've seen of theirs. Right. So this is a totally addition. This one's called um, Spotlight. Is that undyed or is that, I can't decide if there's a tinge of bluey green. Like, is that a, pa the palest, palest? I'm kind of Maybe it's undyed. This, I don't guys. know. That's beautiful, Jode. Um, or if you, if you don't feel like being adventurous no, with I the No, I think red. it needs a pop. I think that's super pretty. Oh, um, this is stunning, stunning. You guys, this is my first time seeing it so, and touching it. It's beautiful. So I don't know what we're going to do with it, but you'll see more. Okay, we're both going to knit with it. Look how plump once it's out of the skein and being able to. <gasps> yeah, this is exciting. So deep. It is totally exciting. I do love the navy coral. Do it. Pale pink. Do it. Pale pink is called barely there. Okay, I'm it's gonna the pink do, for people that don't think they like pink I'm because do it's this. so pale. I love, I love. So thank you, Brooklyn Tweed. Mark your calendars, people. March eighth. You guys, that's gorgeous. Okay, here's something from one of my test knitters. Really? I would like you to open it. That's for you. Really? So I have. Okay, Melissa, Melissa Bell. You follow her, right? She's an awesome. Uh, she's knitting a sweater every week. I you think. guys, I swear her knitting. So she was here in Alberta. Yes. I believe it's Airdrie, oh. but I might be remembering it wrong. I think. What's anyway, going on here? her husband is a 3D printer. This is freaking adorable. What and is this? so <gasps> here she's knitting for me, right? For Frankie Gray samples. And then I get this gift. This is so cute. It's a phone holder. I was gonna say it's a phone stand. So her husband get um out. he designed and printed it on his 3D printer. And it fits my giant old lady phone. Look at that. <gasps> it's perfect. Okay, so that's so how nice. it came about is his her husband. There she is. Hi. Melissa, thank okay, you. Okay, so Melissa's husband for Christmas had this idea and designed her one for Christmas. Well, obviously, he's and a then, creative guy too. And then Melissa said, Oh my gosh, I wonder if you could send uh, make them that's and I can send. So sweet. And so mine adorable. is on the counter. That's so cute. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Oh it's so gosh, cute. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? 3D printing must and be super fun. And it fits the phone. Look at that. Like or standing way? up. Yes. Totally fits. It actually fits like a glove. It's perfect. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, they did such a good job on our logo. Okay, I'm going to throw looks this. so good. Watch this. <laughs> At least I threw mine in a bucket. That's to knit pile, you guys. That's so funny. It's close to my bag, so there's going to be several jumping in right. it. Right. 
Um, we had amazing things sent, sent we to did. us. I didn't get to share these next last time, and they're amazing. Fancy Nancy. Fancy Nancy. Come on. Of course. She makes amazing stitch markers and specifically sets that are perfect for your raglan sweaters. So when she heard we were having a raglan along, like she's got, this is a little stitch stopper thing so you can hold your stitches yeah. on your part. But she's got use those? a beginning of round and she's got all four raglan markers. She's smart. And a little progress keeper. Nancy's not only fancy, she's smart. She's super fancy. And she gets vintage jewelry and stuff. No. And repurposes. Yeah. So Granny's necklace. So do I use these things? Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Okay. So Jody, she made you I a set. I would use these. She oh. made you a set that in a color that she thought you would like. And she made me a set in a color that she thought I would like. Okay. These are Nancy. not in the shop. So don't um, go looking for but these. But there are sets. There's a whole bunch of stuff in her shop. And look, Raglan and giveaway. And she's on Etsy. You guys. So thank you for the Raglan give along. Thank you for um, the super sweet. Nancy, I do love this one Listen, that you chose for me. Nancy is right. And you guys, this is like so um, sparkly. the most beautiful kind of cobalt blue and gold on this one. Yep. And she says, Re recycled with love. So I love that she's sort of on the hunt for pieces that she can repurpose oh tracy that's beautiful it's gorgeous they're gorgeous i've just uh, re-established that i really like seeing pretty things on my me too i love it knits. i yeah. love it yeah so very generous we really really appreciate it um and the progress keeper and everything i've really been using a progress keeper on my um like my cabled sweater because sometimes it feels like you've been knitting forever and you haven't gotten any further. It takes a while to knit that repeat. Tracy, um, what so a good I've been idea. using I've been using that in something that you're like, Come how on. far are you on that? Not a stitch further than the last time I showed it because I've been knitting this. Yeah, and your and my test knit. Yeah. So, but I love it. How far have you gotten on your test knit? I'll show you later. Okay, I'll show good. you on the way out. You guys remember the tubes I did last time? Jody, I finished so the socks. This may be one of my favorite pairs that I've ever done. Okay, you just told us how much you don't like mismatched socks. There's a caveat to that. When it's unless a it's like this, yeah. Unless they're intentionally it, mismatched. Yes. Yeah. But look, I love. Actually, I'm going to put them on my feet right now. You should do that because my feet are cold. Um, thank God we opened the window. Thank I'm God. Super comfortable. Me too. I was having hot flashes this morning, like crazy. Jody, I love your. Socks. Those are adorable. Thank you. Um, these are a couple oh. of other colorways that I got from um, Tia's Terrific Threads. So where, what's this one? This was um, this Gage. This is Gage Dye okay. Works, remember? Yeah. Worsted. Yeah. Obsessed. Totally obsessed. Thicker, shorty socks are my sweet spot. Um, our Gage Dye Works yarn that I bought on, remember when we were doing it last time? This is all together now worsted in the biggie skein. That's it. That's it. I'm going to crank a tube and make socks. I'm So I got one and Tracy, you got one. Thank you. You're I welcome. love it. I'm tempted to use it for color work in a sweater. Something similar to like this. Because <gasps> it's a it's a very color changing, random color changing, right? Like short bursts of certain colors, longer bursts of other colors. Let me get I picture. love that idea anyway, so much. You could do so much me, with it. It made me think, you guys, do you guys remember my Jesse made cozy classic raglan with the I knit, neon what if i did like all, i just kept changing the stripes i made my own rainbow from tannis fiber arts dk set in her classic logo colorways do you guys remember that okay here's the here it is <gasps> in worsted in baby sleeves really see how it's not like a striper striper it's more of a melty color tracy here's what i'm thinking here's cat um cat did a hat that's the that's the color. That's what you've got, Jode. This is a biggie. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it a tube long enough for shorty socks. Okay. And you'll still have lots of What left. about if I have a dark color and did my Frankie Gray hat with this? Frank and Beanie. Yeah. I feel like I need one of those. Okay. Do you want them both? Okay, Linda. Wait, <laughs> wait, Linda. Listen, Hold Linda. The phone. Because I see that hat, I feel like I want that hat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, it's going to be thoughtful what I do I know. with this. Because I want to use every bit of it. I also picked up 
Oh, you did. This is the Wildflower Fade. Look at purple and green. It's the Are same so idea. Happy. It's the same idea as All Together Now. This is the. This is what it looks like. It melts oh my God. together. It does melt together. Yeah. So that is and the magic. Biggie, biggie skein. So because then you have options. Well, if you can't go biggie, what can if you all, go? If all you can do is a pair of socks, that's awesome. But she's also split it up into a possible fade. So there's all kinds of options. <gasps> you just have to go to her shop, her website, and check it out. Brilliant. As always. I adore these rich jewel tones. Me too. Because I'm not normally, I don't work with purple a lot, but when it's like plums and purples Look and deeps. Look at the deeps, socks she did. That's like a mulberry. Like, that's the kind of, per I love that. Isn't that awesome? I'm in awe of her. Yeah. I'm in awe of her. Yeah. Her ability. No yeah. one does what Kat does. Sorry. I agree. And I to mean, my knowledge, that's true. Super fan. Super fan. Gage Dye Works super fan. Anyway, thank the you, Tracy. I are love it. Unreal. That Kelly green, love, love, love. Like all the brights. I'm dying to cast that on. <laughs> oh, what have I we got started? One. Um, so many amazing things came. Um, what else? Who wants a preview? Our friend Nicole, Hugh Loco. She retired all of her chicken yarn. What the fuck is going on? With all. Me? It's cute. She um retired all of her chickens. So that's been a huge thing for her. Her backyard chickens through the years. So many beautiful people have got and collected every single one. And they're all retired. And they're retired because she's launching new ones. Brand new. I'm excited to see these. Uh, and it's one a week. So we're very lucky. How many? We're very fortunate. We got a whole box of chickens. And maybe 10. Exciting. I didn't really count, but there's a lot in there. I just pulled out the one. This launches tomorrow don't go today tomorrow at hugh loco you're gonna get your first chance to get the catalana this is a hen come on it's beautiful this is they've paired it with their nectarine and blush semi-solid whoa look at those speckles you mm -hmm. guys stunning I'm, i've never seen a chicken so pretty fun so tomorrow's the day that you can get that and they're just amazing so set your calendars thank you hugh loco because every single one of these goes into our sock bash prizes and i imagine people are thrilled when they open their package love it i keep thinking i should knit one but i never get there look how i can't even with the speckles gorgeous tomorrow 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 did you guys see when the knitting loft had some new bags um yes i did did you happen to see this we one? still have oh my gosh that's so cute um i just yelled in our microphone but it's it's plastic it's vinyl that's no it's adorable. not vinyl it's I don't like think. a mold poured mold no is it's it woven weaved. it's woven but it's plastic it is from the Knitting Loft, and it's Tin Martin Super Tote in the Fiesta pattern. It's adorable. It came the day we podcast. And look, it comes with a pom-pom. That's adorable. I love a tote bag. You know what they also put in my order, which was so kind? What? What's that? A cigar. <laughs> no, just kidding. Is it lipstick? Oh, a needle holder. That's really handy. With and it's full, full of needles. needles. A which little screw-on so nice. wooden. That's really handy. I think I just... Handy dandy. Oh. When are we going to the knitting loft? I really want to go. Oh, my God. I want to make it We're like the of last... We're dying We're to go. We're the last ones to go. But I still... Have, I'm, I want to go. I want to go spend the weekend at the knitting loft. Um, okay. Hair and my lip gloss. I have an adorable story. You were going to freaking love this. I don't know if you read this or not. Okay, the ladies this is down all. in Billings, Montana, Linda and Sue. Hi guys. Ladies, they own the Yarn Bar, which is a yarn shop with an adorable logo. I can't even, it's got their cute little martini olive. So cute. I love olives. So cute. They sent all these adorable little stickers. 
And they sent two mugs. This is their, I guess it's their shop logo. It's Are you so serious? It's an olive knitting with socks. I know. Can't even. And we got pencils. Um, Thank so you, ladies. These ladies sent the, an email and their yarn shop, who obviously love their community. And they're trying to think of fun ways to get the community involved. Um, they do something They're called... here. Are they? Oh Hi, guys. Okay. The pressure to get this information okay. right. But here we go. They... It's, it's award season, right? Yes. For movies. Yeah. So Golden Globes and SAGs and the Oscars. Which we adore. How much fun. So they thought, would, how could we make this into a knitting thing? So they decided to run a knit along and they called it the Socks Ease, S O X X I E S. So instead of the Oscars <gasps> or the Golden Globes, it's the Socks Ease. It is a knit along and you go to the yarn bar and you buy sock yarn and you knit any kind of socks. And they have six categories. So you knit your socks, you email a picture and tell them, I want this entered in the thicker is better. So the categories are short. not always. Usually. <laughs> not always. Um, not always is right. <laughs> Socksy categories. Shorties, my first socks, thicker is better, fancy schmancy, non-traditional, single sock syndrome, sign me up, and stripey. So you can knit a pair of socks and tell them, this is where I want to enter these. And they're entered to win. And winners get a $25 gift card and the... Bragging Absolute. rights. The bragging rights that mm -hmm. says, I won the fancy schmancy socksy. Is it's, there somewhere where I can upload a, um acceptance speech? Right. You right. could. You could send a video okay. along with the picture of your sock. Okay. Um, but I just thought it was adorable and different. And it was such a big hit last year that they do other things now. They do the shirties in, in the summer. So in April, you're going to have all these categories of like t-shirty style things that you can knit and they have oh what's the other one for me you have brainstormed and come up with such a fun way to engage totally. with knitters and just inject a little fun and energy into a knit along and i believe ladies correct me if i'm wrong that that one of these mugs is like a and when if you enroll, they'll send. If you do this, if you participate in it along, you get a mug. Really? Yes. This is adorable. It's super cute. So they also have coming up hatsies and toasties, which are winter sweaters, and then the shirties are summer tops. Yes to the mugs. So yes. So all you have to do is go to the yarn bar. They would really. This is their way of saying. Um, we want customers to come check right? us out. You go buy your yarn at the yarn bar. It's online too, right? It's online. And they have a coupon code because they love grocery girls, Aww. knitters. So the code is grocery girls and it's 15% off all the way through the end of March. So all month wow. long, you can decide what you want to buy. Use your coupon code. You can... Enter your socks if you're looking for another kind of fun knit along and meet new people. Are they good? Where are they in Montana? Billings, it said. Is that close to where we're going to be? We're going to Great Falls. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just, so anyway, if you want to wait till April, they're going to have the shirties, which is a summer top. And then they're going to have. I adore this idea. The whole thing screams fun. Oh, yeah. I just. <laughs> Okay, Cat in the Hat. I just watched that. Mike Myers, we love you. I can't you. believe you just... No, yeah. I've seen the movie about 28 times. I just saw it on the weekend. It's so good. That's one of the ones that are so good. It doesn't ever get old. They're very sweet. They sent the mugs. That's so They're cute. like, we just watch you and... I love that. We would, you know, I, I'm, I'm just so impressed by the whole thing and the community they're fostering. And I just thought it That's was... That's what I love. Great. Yeah. So thank you, ladies. And... Maybe we need to do a little um, Montana road trip. Oh yeah, to, <laughs> to Billings, <laughs> and uh, maybe you can collect your trophy. Maybe you got to get in this knit along. Do you maybe know? for the Hatsies. That's what I was thinking as yeah. soon as I heard Hatsies. Yeah. Do you know I kind of follow the weather for Phoenix? Do you? Because it's so sad here. Our weather. Um, it's 
freaking cold for mom yeah, and dad. They said it was freezing. It's really freezing. It was four degrees like not, the other morning. Yeah. Celsius. That's really cold. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I miss my parents. At I this do too. Hour. I do too. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Okay. You know what we need to do? FaceTime. Yeah. On we Monday. Should do that. FaceTime. We should do that. Yeah. FaceTime. That's funny. Um, it's so funny when we do because because we do have right a big like, like we're at work and we have a big chat but um facetime's even better i did a thing jody so melissa okay so this is what made me do this a melissa just knit a garment in this combo i know let me just get it out of the bag um it is she just knit a new turtle dove. Yeah. In the combination of home remedy, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so four ply moss. fingerings. Or whatever her combo was, it gave me this vibe. And this is her version, I believe, had two strands of mohair and a fingering. Right. Yeah. So whatever she's knitting, all that to say is I loved the color she was right. knitting. Me too. But what also sent me here is because this Calliope, our friend Amber knit, and it's stunning. Yeah. It also has the same kind of exaggerated collar. Yeah. The, the longer, ribbing. deeper collar. Yeah. Again, free pattern on Ravelry. You can go get these. They're it's, amazing patterns. So I thought to myself. Jody, I love it. It's not a color I go to, but I adore. Listen. I you want need, this in my wardrobe. You need a rainbow of colors in your closet. This is perfect. And after seeing what a stunning pattern this was. I think I have enough of the hot pink. I could do mine in the hot pink. Free spirit like that. So this is the halo, which is mohair knit with um, fingering weight yarn. It's, I love a scummy green. I don't own anything in that color combo. But yet we both gravitate I towards that color. I love it. I I would love to wear it. I, I would love it. Um, And Sonder is amazing at what they do with kits. These women. Yes. Aw. Aw, these, um, these women do Hustle. it right. Hustle. They, hustle. they do it right. They're always making kits of beautiful patterns that launch. Yeah. And they're supporting designers with yarn mm -hmm. support. I love it. I couldn't, I could not love them more. Yeah. That's not possible. No. And she's got some fun stuff coming up in the background, it looks like. She's, she always teases what she's knitting. And I it's don't know good. how she splits her time because they're, know. you know, designing takes a ton of time. Running a business takes a ton of time. Mm -hmm. Um... Her and Tanya, yes. Melissa and Tanya yes. are an amazing duo that brings us the yarn. They're incredible. And we got to take a peek in their past studio last year when we were at um, Knit City Montreal. Like, the shelves are bursting. So much work to, to stock what they do. I can't tell you guys the coordination. I've just done one little DK I hat. I would love to get locked in their studio overnight. The coordination I for know. these kits. But, you know, the first time you do something, it's... Now you'll get in the groove. Now you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Bruna! Hi. Hello, Miss Knitting Loft. Bruna, we were, we were just talking about we you. We were just saying we were going to come visit you. Bruno, we want to come for the weekend. Jody's going to pack her tote and we're coming. It's packed. <laughs> I've got a pair of underwear. Um, okay. So this is the other thing. Are you guys following this pressed flowers? Oh, totally. I feel like my phone's buzzing a lot. It is. Okay. So pressed flowers is a sweater. It's a pullover. It's a cardigan. No. It's a shawl. It's a hat. It's a cowl. It's a cardigan. It's okay. not a pullover. But you know why I know that? Because when the pullover comes That's out, That's what it was. I'll be knitting it. Tracy wants a, pull, a pullover. Yeah. Um, but do you remember that so good. Sonder Yarn has their own Sonder Yarn colorway of Spin Cycle? Yes. Only available at Sonder Yarn. Maybe yes. it's Spin Cycle, but I'm not sure. I don't think these custom colors are. Okay. I think they make them for for yarn shops and other people specifically. You have That's the point. But look, you yeah. guys, how it fades from yellow to kind of like a bluish, greeny, gray, tan. It's actually one of my favorite spin cycle colors. I think it's it's stunning. So this is Sunday morning DK, and this is fingering. So you're going to hold this double. Do you? I don't know. Maybe not. 
Sorry, I shouldn't say. It's I mean, two, this they call this sport weight. So oh, I bet not. you you don't hold it double, but I think when you blend you those two yards. You probably not by looking at it. You and it's don't. slip stitch pattern, which can be a little snug, right? I feel yeah. you probably don't hold it double. Um, this is but go for it manatee. It's kind of, char it's like a charcoal. It's really nice gray. Isn't it? Yeah. So I wanted Are you to gonna knit that? Yeah. Good for you. So I wanted to knit this and I thought they have a kit, so I'm gonna do There's it. There's actually a stunning cowl that just came out and it's amazing. It really, it called my name. Right. So I had fun at the Sonder website uh, last week. Their yarn always ships really fast. I believe they kind of pretty, they only put in their shop what's available. So. I'm not sure if they've ever, but usually it's not a pre-order. So oh no, usually they ship real fast. They're yes, yeah, they ship and their really fast. Customer service is amazing, of course. Yeah, we're very lucky that they um, are in Canada because mm -hmm. they, I mean, I order it and it's here in like five days or or less. Yeah, it is. Oh, I cannot wait. I was thinking, what about Sparkle? Jody, everything with Sparkle. I know. What everything. about Sparkle? So I love it. Okay, I love it. Listen, listen, Linda. I'm a Gorgeous. regular. If I had a punch card, it would be full. Yeah, that's go this. check them out. They they have amazing kits. Their yarn is incredible. Okay, something fun came. And remember how you said to me one time, "Oh, maybe next time we'll, we'll do an unboxing." Like, so I haven't even looked. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. Okay. This is. You're going to love this. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Renninger or Renninger Wool Company. This is heavy. I feel like this might be candy. It is a one woman with sometimes husband show. As they they have sheep. They spin yarn. Um, they are in, oh, where are they? Their logo is cute. They're in, sorry, this, they're in the U.S. Uh, established in 2017. So they're out in the, I believe, in the eastern U.S. Um, their mission is to provide their neighbors with wonderful small batch yarn from well-loved, responsibly raised sheep. Minimally processed. And anyway, she was just a doll and said, sent an email and said, I see you're doing a big sweater knit along. Um, we have these, to we have these Wait bags. Wait till you see them. We have these bags with our sheep on them. Wait till you see this. Uh, they, are, they are gifts of appreciation. She's like, look, if you really can't give them away, um, keep them. <laughs> the two images are mother and daughter. It's Pearl. It's her name. So there's two sheep here, mum and baby daughter. Let's see. What's that <gasps> oh one? Oh, my gosh. So okay, yeah. it's on canvas bag, heavy duty metal zipper. <gasps> this is Winnie Wooly Buns. No, it is not. Yes, it is. <gasps> we used. To... Oh my gosh! Come on, it's a giant sweater. I mean, I can see why she thought a sweater. Pennsylvania. Okay. Warriors Mark, Pennsylvania. Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay, I need to read something to you guys. Here, this is Winnie Wooly Buns. Imagine our surprise when Pearl, an all-white merino ewe, gave birth to a black and white spotted lamb. Born on a frigid January morning, Winnie quickly warmed our hearts with her silly antics and lovable demeanor. Are you serious? So you get like a... Okay. I'm, I'm just... I'm going to read you this. this I'm is, so glad I didn't open this before. Uh, Pearl, a.k.a. Pearly Foot Stomp. A sweet merino ewe whose soft, fine wool is as white as snow. Some sheep will stomp their foot to let you know they're angry. Pearl likes to stomp her foot to let you know that it's time for an ear scratch. Oh, my goodness. I said to her, you are living our dream. Like, she said, it is such, it is a huge job. Bucks to, County, Pennsylvania. To be raising these animals. But the, I mean, the love involved. I can't even... You guys. So, oh my gosh, Jenny, thank you for thinking of us. The story, the names, almost like they're <sighs> pets. They're pets. They're hey, not. There's something in here too. I feel like there's candy. Oh my God, yes. Uh, could it get any better? <gasps> She's, you're right. Milk and dark chocolate in a biggie bag. Thank you. Biggie's better. Most of the time. Adorable. But when it comes to chocolate, yes. Every time with chocolate. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. I will absolutely put these in our, I mean, do what you want to do, Jode, but these are amazing. If people really want them, you need to go to Renninger Wool's website. Did you say you'll put them in the giveaway? I don't know. She said if you can't keep part with them, keep them, which we never do. Um, but she said they're a gift from me to you. That's what it is. I love it. The do gifts. You... Oh, no. Sorry. I lied. The gifts in the white are meant to be prizes or if you can't part with them, keep them. So there you go. I can absolutely part. I would love. I mean, my first reaction is to keep them, but I would love this to is give them away. Why we give like the all the stuff we give is because we love it so much. We know you're going to love yeah. it. That's the whole point. No, I feel like these are great end of the Listen, like finished obsec prizes and i love the opportunity to go back and support her business <gasps> how cute i really what i want to do is go knock on her door and say can i play with your sheep early foot stomp. can we go scratch the sheep i know i would come home with a, a farm animal that's a fact winnie woolly buns are you serious so good oh so good so this, thank you thank you this is amazing thank you so much oh my gosh so much what? fun I today in my bag see that's a shocker <laughs> i wanted to show this too um jean philippe we've showed before remember the gorgeous fuzzy like yes. ear flap cat? montreal designer he just came right? up with a brand yes he just came up with a brand new pattern teeny weeny beanie okay star just said she's in the chat is that jenny is that who you're talking about is she? Does Jenny want house guests? Oh, this, oh come visit. Winnie oh travels gosh. well. We actually used to have a dog named Winnie. Yeah. So that's crazy. Jenny. Thank you. These, your bags and sheep brought me joy today. Oh. This is amazing. What a beautiful product you've made. Was she in, at Rhinebeck? Probably. Yes. They were at Rhinebeck. How do you know that? Because I seem to remember this. Okay. You're guessing. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm really not. We could maybe. I could totally be remembering wrong, but <laughs> I thought funny. I saw them at, at the sign at Rhinebeck. Listen, at some point you're just wandering through all the barns and you're like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I could buy a sweater's quantity for everybody. These are adorable. Super, uh, super adorable. Cute. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, teeny weeny beanie. It's really cute, you guys. It's got reversed, like garters, bumps. Yeah. Garter. It's got these amazing ribs. Um, up the hat in like quadrants. It's got a folded brim. You don't have to fold it. But the reason I printed this one is because his pattern didn't really show the close-up hat really well. But I just thought this was so it cute. It is super, super cute. Did you see the, the skit with Jimmy Fallon and Paul Rudd? So it's named Teeny Weeny Beanie because of a really cute video that was on Jimmy Fallon recently. And they make fun of this style but they really don't they're just kind of it's a parody it's a little bit it's a total parody yeah. on hats worn that way and they called it the teeny mini beanie so uh, the timing couldn't have been more perfect he was bringing out this style oh. and named it the teeny mini beanie of course it has yeah. to be so cute mm -hmm. so cute so he's a phenomenal um canadian Gay designer gas glassby we love you oh always so okay you guys what else has been happening? Oh, Good you guys. Lord. I got a new toilet seat. Jody. This should have I should have opened with this. So, as you know, I've talked about Wait, I have you a, trashed your old toilet seat. I have seat? a tushy. It was garbage. I blew it out. <laughs> Is it possible Listen, to blow a toilet seat? It gets seat? a lot of wear and tear. I'm not going to so, lie. So, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I have a tushy. And I use it the on the daily sort of bidet thing that attaches It's an attach. To your you take off your toilet seat, it attaches, it hooks up to water. Um, sprays, sprays works, works amazing. It's funny you don't see bidets. I know it's a bit like thing in Europe, m most places, and but that's very rare here. Yes. We don't really have those around. And it's, I think I just needed some rubber washers, but I was thinking there's got to be an option, and I a little more research found that they make toilet because a bidet is really expensive. Well, and we, the old yeah. like you need room in your bathroom to install this other Or I mean thing. like a bidet, a toilet bidet combo. Oh, okay. Right? So I found the toilet seat. It's it's a toilet seat and bidet in one. So a really nice 
Yeah, it was $140 only, right? I thought for comparatively with the, if you were going to get the full toilet. I don't feel like that's so bad. It's not bad, you guys. If it transforms your toilet. There's there's a, a back spout and there's a front lady bit spout. Same spout, but it just changed. It's so just spending a lot of time in the bathroom. Just, no, no, no. That's so funny. Softer, harder, softer. Can we increase the water? <laughs> Honey, we need to get a bigger pipe. Right. Oh. Anyway, you guys, this was, this is a game changer. This bidet toilet seat. So every time. Okay, well, I should probably. Every time number two, it's like you've just had a shower. Okay. Well, I really never thought and that I needed fresh- one, but maybe I do. Tracy, you need to try. You maybe you need to come try mine. I'll test drive it. It. I'm. It's from Amazon. It's incredible, and I'm going to tell you the brand. You're hilarious. You guys, I cannot. Everybody should have one of these in. A I house. don't even know where to go from here because there's nothing that relates to this in any way. But you know what? You maybe just changed a bunch of lives. You know. You know what? You're gonna come back and you're gonna thank me. I probably. Will. I'm gonna. T- it's the Bron Dell Swash Eco Seat. The Bron. There's several brands and there's reviews on Amazon and all that. And it's what's a- it called? The Bron Dell. It's a swash eco seat. Eco seat. It's a okay. non-electric. So it's cold water, but that's okay. Right. Right? Because I'm not going to fuss with... You can get ones that you need a plug-in somewhere close so you can have warm water. I don't care about that. Wow. But you guys... I do love watching those extreme, like, super mansion makeovers to see... Like, there's... It is crazy what you can get a toilet. The... Ke- Kelly just said, Amber, it's Kelly from Woolen Folk, the chairminder. <laughs> Do you remember her and her of husband? Course. Hi, Cal. Of course. So this toilet seat, and okay, let me just preface by this. You have to know if your seat is round, your toilet, or if it's elongated. Well, that's... Mine is elongated. I think kind of more... I just went through the whole buy a toilet seat thing. There's sizes. Like there's... Round? Just not even just oval. There's like lengths. Oh, this only comes on round and elongated. Okay. It's slightly smaller than my toilet seat, but you would never know. Like you don't sit. It's And it's sturdy. It's a really sturdy toilet I seat. I love it. Last summer when I redid um, George's bathroom a little bit, I bought her a toilet seat with a nightlight in it. That's the thing too. It's awesome. I love it. Um, Brondell also makes a heated toilet seat that one of our viewers, I, I'm sorry I didn't catch her name, has. I don't know if I want a heated toilet seat. Doesn't that you know make what? You feel like you have to pee all the time. I mean, you're already peeing, but yeah. that's funny. Listen, you I guys, love a I love a fancy toilet. toilet seat. Is amazing. No, it's not a six hundred and fifty nine dollar toilet wow. seat. It is. That sounds like it's the whole toilet. It's a hundred and thirty. You can get toilet bidet seats. This one is non electric bidet toilet seat for about a hundred. Send me the link, and I will put it in in our show notes. A hundred and thirty dollar um, Amazon find isn't that it right there up top yeah that's what i'm sending to you oh okay. why are you way over here okay. yeah really jody okay i just sent it to you that's funny okay thank you so good okay love yeah seriously considering and i will come test and i it. researched i saw the brands online tracy i'm not kidding i read the reviews but then i went to the brondell website okay. and read reviews there good so yes that is also not like you I know. Add to cart, check out, yeah. figure it out later. I didn't want a piece of garbage. I'm not saying Tushy is garbage. Tushy is an excellent But choice. it's good to know whether or not you even like that kind of product. So exactly. you figure it out. You just yes. want a better one. Yes. Cool. I love it. I have one more thing and then I got to say goodbye because we got to have a, I got a haircut and. I have Frankie Gray Fiber. Yes. After that. Not a sure. ridiculous amount, but yes. Okay. okay. No, I want to see everything. Uh, I'm not in that much of a rush. My appointment's later, but I think we can wrap this up in 10. Whatever. It's not 15. a rush. It's not a rush. Um, our friends at John Arbin. John mm. Arbin. Remember they sent us that awesome yarn? It's um, amazing. And you knit Shane a hat. And oh my it's gosh. Beautiful. That's what it oh. look, looks like there when That's they're. a great ma- photo. So I was watching their YouTube channel a while ago, and it makes me think, oh my goodness, I should go. I should. 
I would love a sweater in their yarn. So I'm, you know, you go to their website. They have so many bases. So I thought mm. I'm going to order, um, I'm going to order a shade card. Mm -hmm. And then I start, I see all the bases have a shade card. So I start going, you know, add to shade. This is Apple Door DK. This is all their shades. And you guys look at, there's a purple over here, you, but look. You can actually get a set of their shade cards that's every. Is that what you got? <gasps> yes. Look at these it's, greens. Listen, listen, Linda. Look at this. Look this at is this their green. This is their knit by numbers line. This is like all these colors come in knit by numbers. Because naming is hard. Well, there you go. That's why. They're right. So uh, 8, 12 sounds better than, <laughs> is a lot easier than, but so look fingering, at all Fingering, fingering. Wow, you guys. Yeah. Spectacular. So, isn't that amazing? Um, And these it literally things. included like the newest X more okay, soft these are colors. Made, these are more like, um, what are those thicker ones? This is knit by numbers. It looks like it might be DK. Yeah, that was all mostly knit by numbers. Late. Merino for it's available in four ply and DK and mini skeins. Oh. Listen, there's so much info here and so much like dream knitting. So now I can compare bases. And Apple colors. door is this? Mar remember the marble? Yes, you guys. This is oh. how it started for me because I had the mini skein in the one color, and then I'm online thinking. Look at that one. And look at that one. I wonder what the difference is. So the depths of colors and shade in these marls. And that one's dyed in the wool and then spun. And that's how you get all those little blips. Can you guys see the color variations? What? I know. So it was very exciting to know they had a shade card. It came with the bag because there's so much stuff. Nice. Um... I'll probably use Somebody that. asked Frankie Gray Fiber for a shade card. I'm not ever doing that. Do you know if you work this is? If you wanted to do it, I would help. I would do something no, for you. No, never doing it. Georgia! Hi, hon. podcasting. Have you been up for a while? I've been hearing you. Georgia. Move around a lot. She must be getting hungry. Yeah. Are you going to make me lunch? That was... Look, that, you guys... Oh, a maybe. I got a this maybe. This is... Okay, shade cards are work. Come on. Oh, I know, right? Do they have a machine that does it? I seriously doubt it. Actually, you know what? I did see a machine do it. I saw their Instagram. I'm not kidding you. I, Jody. I, Tracy, there was something on Instagram. This is John Arbor. I'm going to. I have to say, love, love, love. So now this just is even. Now I've just got all these options. Okay, help me out, you guys. What? Who on Instagram was showing their process of a machine, a machine made Sample card. I am leaning towards Apple Door, but you know. Does Apple Door come in a DK? You, it is DK. There was also a lace. Lace weight and DK. Oh, sorry. I was just here, saw here, and that's it. So. Oh, it's so. 250 meters per 100 grams. Tracy, let's get John, let's get Apple Door and knit an all over color work sweater. Look at that. Look at all the colors. I can't even. Like, come on. I would picture my sweater with every color. So good. I mean, how could you go wrong? I want an apple. I want a John Arbor Apple Door sweater. Okay. Who's going to knit it for you? Ah, bing bing. <laughs> <laughs> have you become a mill? What's a mill member? A what? Cheryl asked, have you become a mill member? Oh, yes. I saw that on there. I what should is do it? that. A patron kind of? It is a, like a membership thing. I don't even, I, I saw it. I didn't Do you read, get free stuff? I did not read what the benefit of it was. That's adorable. They do do a mill day where you can go hang out, like do at some point once oh, a year. Oh, that would be fun. Super to go fun. See. Super Listen, fun. you guys, in all the years we've been, and Tracy, way longer than me, in the fiber arts, we've n I've never toured a mill. Have you? Not really. Have I? No. Not, I've seen so many on YouTube that it feels like I might have, but. Karen, Briggs and Little do a machine made Okay, I'm going there. There you go, Jody. I should know you're. I knew I saw Every it. Every time I say, I call you out, say, I don't think so. It's wrong. You're right. But I couldn't bring, I, I couldn't. Um, they do their. A that's machine it. makes shade cards? Yep. Let's see. 
I mean, that's the Look. closest mill. We could go. But how does that work? And then they'll cut it off. Everyone's threaded through and then they'll cut it off and tie so it off. So the machine does that? Yeah. Or you have to still do hand? I don't know at what process, but that. Oh, wow. Look at that. So I get it. Right? It's yeah. not someone doing. You put and a big stack of the cards and then you thread the yarn up and then they do cut it. But I, I think there must be some You might have to tie it. Of, yeah. So cool. But that's also taking so much of the work out. Oh, totally. Like, look at that. That's brilliant, actually. Yeah. Brilliant, Jody. I missed that. You're right. Look. Cool. Love it. Mm -hmm. Somebody toured Jameson oh. on Shetland Island. <gasps> Dream destination. What? Dream destination. Oh, my gosh. I call her once. I'm excited. Let's have chocolate. Okay. okay. I'm gonna Let's eat have chocolate. chocolate and talk Frankie Gray. Okay, let's. We got new card inserts. These are just two let's of them. Let's see. Oh, Jody, they're so nice. It's basically, it's the exact same thing on the back, but it's just two little. I love it. Love it. Thank you so much for your order. Okay. Oh, here. Jody, Jordan, and Frankie. That is so cute. That's one with speckles. Come on. This is one with speckles. So cute. This is one with speckles. Very nice. I think Jordan packed my bag for me. Oh, here's another one. Oh, two. Two more. <gasps> Looks great, Jordan. More speckles. So who knows what kind of card you're going to get. That's right. got 10 skeins. Again. Collectibles. Right. Okay. So cute. Very cute. Okay. So this is the speckles we did last week. I didn't. Okay. What I was thinking of, because I had so much to talk about with my hat and Frank and Gray yarns and stuff. Yeah. I didn't pull the coordinating colors. I really loved doing that. And I think people did too. So moving forward. Speckles and I'll, I'll bring some matchies next time. Oh my God. This chocolate is so good. Okay. So first up, Peach Bellini. We have done it before, but we brought it back. Totally. I absolutely love it It's so got much. a really soft base underneath, so, but with some really fun pops of color. Hot pink, a little neon yellow. That's really fun. Okay, I'll save that to the end. Don't let me forget. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that's awesome. Sour watermelon. You guys, this is going to be a little micro stripe. Or if you guys are looking for intentional pooling yarn. Okay. This has got the blip of the green. Cool. What a good idea. With really hot pinks and corals for the watermelon color. That's gorgeous. Okay, this is Conversation Hearts. Pretty. Brand new. Jordan's color. She bought some converse or she had some conversation hearts and loved the bag full of colors. Totally. So this looks really. It's actually it's the exact really, same yeah. colors as really you guys are so bad. good. Um, we restocked. Call me by your name. This is an OG. This was one of the first few that Jordan did. She's a huge. I love that. Timothée Chalamet. Is that how you pronounce no. his name? No, Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. Um, it might be more French than that because these probably are, yeah. Um, but she adores him, and this is where it kind of emerged from. So that's... I feel like it's changed a little bit. T a touch. But it's really, really pretty. Actually, when you look at it from the originals, it looks pretty It's the close. same. It's the same. Okay. This is Let's Go Have These, but that's she's cute. intensified the color. So this will um, stripe, whirl stripe as you go up. That's awesome. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Super vivid, which I love. I'm thinking I am showed this, but I showed you guys at coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fantasia. So this has a really soft aqua base that you can really? ba barely see peeking through some areas, but is is overrun by these amazing colorful speckles. I love it. And, and then I it's got a dark, dark. dark. The dark charcoal is the last speckles totally. to, to kind of put a wash over it. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, this is pretty. This is enough. You know, we've revisited colors from really early when we started. Um, concrete roses. I really love it's it. It's a really, really soft, pale gray with some navy, charcoal, and pink speckles. Oh, it's funny because I read lab like purple. Right. But I think that might be navy when it kind of Maybe. Disperses. It looks amazing. Um, oh, I cranked a tube in this. This is called Boardwalk. And it's kind of got sand and light gray, and it's got a dirty speckle here and a hot pink. This is 
beautiful. That is gorgeous. Um, I think that would be such a cute summer tea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All of these would be amazing summer teas. Strawberry pie. It's got like a straw and a really pretty red. And navy is the speckle on this one. I love that one. Love it. I actually think that may, should be our next knit along. What? Like a summer tea. Maybe love. not next next, but like for sure over the yes. summer. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's fun to do them early. So then we're wearing Even, them. Yeah, we should do it next. Yeah. Summer tea. Because let me tell you, they don't take very long to no. knit. You're barely knitting sleeves no. for most of them. This. That's is, amazing. This is camo. Okay. That's one of the new, that's brand new. It's, it looks, it knit up so beautifully yeah. in that hat, Jody. So we had a lady reach out and said she loves Elmer. Yeah. And wants to knit her hunting husband a hat. Oh. With, do we have a complimentary camo color? And Jordan said, no, but I can get you one. Right. So this is camo. It's amazing. Well, you guys it saw the sample. It really is. You guys saw the sample. Yeah. But it really is gorgeous. Camo <gasps> and... Look at that. So that's camo and Elmer. Sometimes you just don't even know what it's going to knit up like. Yeah. I think that is the perfect combo for what right. that lady was looking for. I bet you she was thrilled. I'm not sure. I, 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 Jordan does most of my I mean, I hope emailing so. and stuff because I'm so bad How at it. How do you get out of that? I don't know. Both times. She actually said the other day... If you're going to read an email and not answer, you're going to be in trouble. Because if she sees an email that's read, she assumes I, it's taken care of. Right. And I totally get that. So now if I look at it, I mark it as unread. Yeah. That helps a lot. I get that, right? Because yeah. it could be missed. Or I flag it or whatever. So Jordan did her... Emails are the worst part of business. <sighs> Everything else is awesome. Emails can be a lot. I shouldn't say the worst. It It's awesome to communicate, the but... Yeah. It ends up being a lot of work. So I shouldn't say the word. So Jordan did um, the next installment of the Taylor Swift Yarn Club. It's amazing. This is the album. It's called Taylor Swift. It's her first album, first studio album. How young she looks there. She is so young. Not Which that she I looks adore. that different. I adore this colorway. I'm just thinking, I was just going to say the same thing again. This would be such a cute t-shirt listen and this is zero time like she's gotten so good good at this and i agree we do consult but this was like she knew exactly what she wanted she has a really pretty watery bright turquoisey aqua with a dirtier mossy green paired together yeah i think this is stunning i agree i couldn't agree more she is doing a beautiful job with her color pairings. So this is the new installment of the Taylor Swift Club. And then don't forget, all those DK kits are available. And um, you can make your own, You, I guess you could make up your own kit and just message me. When, listen, here's the other thing. This is what I'm going to do. You could buy it a la carte. If you would like to make your own Frank and Beanie combo that you don't see... <sighs> Add it to cart and check out at least two skeins of DK. And if you add it in the notes, I would love the printed copy, which comes with a Ravelry code. I will add it to your order. Right. I'm not going to add it unless you ask, but right. I would love to add it if you want it. Right. If you make your own kit. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, I That's love it. Jody. Yeah. I got, I got yarn too. Tracy always has an order. This, come on people. What? The Citron. All DK, all Frankie Gray fibers, no plan, just like I love this color, I love that color. I am planning a striped DK something t shirty mm -hmm. sweater, but I just wanted some colors and uh, you guys are amazing. Because you know, Tracy knit me that Frankie Gray fiber for my last year for my birthday. Yeah. And I wonder if some people would think DK for a short sleeve summery sweater. It is not too heavy. It's not because it's a pretty nice gauge. It's, it's not tight, beautiful. tight. Beautiful. Okay, good. I'm glad it's, it's not too hot. I would wear a hundred of that gauge. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. James Watts. I just said to Jody before we started. Did you see James Watts has? She was a on YouTube your channel. No. Channel. I want to share that. I just saw it today. Thank goodness. Um. Anyway, okay, so all see. of these colors, Jody, are colors that just, I love a good, this is taupe. But can you guys imagine 
yes. a striped something. Yes. I mean, I'm buying. I am planning a sweater. I'm just trying to, like, what color do I want for a main color? This is denim. Yeah. Okay, denim is a grayish. Blue. It's like it's a steely steel. blue. Yes. Like a grant, like, what do they call those? Slate blues, yeah. kind of? Um, and I love it, but I also really love taupe, which I think is such a beautiful, I'm obs- this citron- natural. This citron is greeny. It's, you listen, I am, I'm bragging, but I also want to give credit. Like, I've curated this palette by seeing people's yarn, other yarn knit up. And Tracy's when, you know what I mean? Like, yes, I've curated a palette that I love. And I I look at these and go, wow. Well, I mean, it's a huge palette. I mean, you guys have given us so much to play with. There's so many. And I'm really proud of it. I, you should be. Yeah. Um, Your website is amazing. So I went to Frankie Gray, Mm. went to Dyed to Order. If you notice now, it's like you can choose to shop pink or shop purple or orange or yellow or green. And I love that. We had somebody ask if if you could do like checking each item and as a compare at the end where it puts right. all those check boxes. I I don't think I can. So we thought the second best thing would to be doing. You can shop all dyed to order, right? But then we categorized each color. Like you have to choose something, and if it's alphabetical the way it arranges, it's a certain way. But then colors aren't next to each other. Like and that was so when I saw. Oh my gosh, I can see the blues all together and choose which one is, you know, that one's brighter, that one's darker. Jody, it's brilliant. Um, it made so shopping so nice. We have, we figured out how to do a drop down menu, like a sub drop down menu. So I'm just going to go into let's shop pink. Right. So now you guys, you can see it, and That's compare. the way I like to shop. Don't you think? It's, it makes things it's a game so changer. easier. It is because it's like, how close are these two colors that I really like? Oh, that one's orangier and that one's not. And so it made choosing colors awesome. So you know what I've done before on other people's websites? Screenshotted the color and then went to pick collage and put them together. Yeah. Now you can, yeah, shop by color. So I might even want parchment as my main color. Linen's amazing too. Linen or this denim. Like I think, okay, I can see it in denim too. I think these are really nice. Yes. I feel like I don't. Yeah. Like those. Are could, you? See, those could take be a the, picture. Those Just could be the stripes. I gotta take a picture of things because I never remember. And then I think. Oh yeah, they're so good. So I love this. I think this is bright and fun, and I would love the stripes. Um. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that all together. Right. It's done. With Mayflower. The, like, Citron, Big Apple, yeah, and denim. And denim. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> you just let me know what you need. Well, no. Well, okay. Yeah. And I was trying know. to think of a main color, so, but I still love, I do, I love everything. It's a crayon box. You guys have created just such a beautiful, beautiful thing for us to play with. I love it. God, we haven't even hit close to three hours. Good. No, we're 11 minutes Good. away. Oh. <laughs> oh, the podcast. It's obnoxious. James. James Watts. First of all, we've shared James's patterns. Mm-hmm. Um, he's such an amazing designer. And that is literally, um, I mean, he's a talented guy. Follow him. You will I ad- love. I adore him. You will love. But he has a YouTube channel now. I can't even wait. There you go. And the, the name of the channel is James Watts. So. I I love him. Oh. I love his posts. I, I, I adore everything about him. I was lucky enough to meet him when I went to Scotland. And you every said that. and every once like at that time of year, lots of times that photo will pop up as my memory. And it's just awesome. I love that. I love, love, love it. His designs are phenomenal. You'll definitely need to follow him. And so now we'll get to hear him talk about, I don't know what, maybe his, I don't know. I don't even okay. care. I, mean, I just want to show this as we're talking about James. It's his most recent post. It's called Beads of Joy. And it's his newest modular knitting pattern. I believe it's knit side to side. But look at this cool sweater. I don't think it's side to side. I think you're knitting each of those squiggly things and then... 
Oh, putting it together. Picking. I don't know how okay. you do it, but, but I... look how he's done where he's like this red top section will butt up against a blue, it's and then so it looks like there's beautiful. movement. It looks like no, like it reminds me of Noro yarn. <gasps> um, that's... oh, speaking of short sleeved thing, uh, knits for the summer. Totally. And maybe you're totally right. Maybe that is side to side. No, I'm guessing. I love the way it's like increases and decreases and i love those <gasps> it's beautiful I it's beautiful him. i shouldn't this is another his... great summer one i was gonna say i shouldn't assume gender but yes he is an acceptable gender he they, i mean i i adore him remember this this one in pom-pom that yeah. was knit side to side oh so good so good anyway i'm so glad that remember? he jogged our memory Yes, you guys. I think that was that last was the cover. Or was the, the back oh, their tenth anniversary? I think that might have been an alternate front or back. Oh, I love it. Why have I not knit that? I feel like the lots of times we see these patterns and we fall in love with them, but we can't knit them fast enough. And then the next, the next thing comes out, and we get distracted, and we can kind of forget about that's the thing. What we saw, I love that design. Do you want to take a drink of water? No, I like my voice. Like, um, th that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing for me is like I know there's a a big list of patterns I love, but then I get all the things we talked about today and the new patterns and all that, mm -hmm. and we're like, well, now I'm on to the next sweater. Yeah. Which is why I love that you knit sheep camp, and I still want to knit sheep camp, and it's it's a design that's been out for a little while. It's still. I mean, I love it. It's just, uh, and I'm not the only one that's knit with Spin Cycle, but then when you see a new version, you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot that I wanted this. Actually, this totally. is Tracy. Tracy put me on to this. I had seen it, but the Native Knitter, her sample, it's like a dark Gorgeous. teal for the color work. Almost looks black, but I believe it's like a dark teal. And then it's like a really pretty aqua Yeah. Um, for the main color. Yeah. It's beautiful. So. I totally love it. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, my voice is going. We should probably. Oh my God, Manda's making. You were just saying goodbye. What? She said I just sat down and I could, can't believe I caught you. Oh my God. We're, we've already we're already obnoxiously long. <gasps> Thank you for joining us. If you're here now or later, what's my? <laughs> Sounds like you're on like one of those mixers. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I do get um, like a headache every time we do this. Do because, you? Oh, just because we talk so much. I don't talk yeah. this much. No. In real life. Yeah. Can I just say hello, yellow, and taupe? Too? Hello, yellow is <gasps> Hello, yellow. Hi, Vanessa. Donna says, remember to like the video. Ooh. Thank you. Donna. We never do that. Like, subscribe. You <laughs> Tell guys. all your friends. Um, subscribe to the video. Uh, uh, be a subscriber so you know and you get notifications when we go live or right. maybe put out a bonus video. No, Actually, we never do a bonus video. Don't, well, what don't if we lie do? to the people. Okay, what about Saturday? Should we do more like a noon so people, like a different time, different day? We can put up a poll in our stories before we decide for sure. Yeah. Because. Um, star votes for noon. Okay. Great. <laughs> so how about we just let star pick? I feel like no poll, right? Star, the poll is star. Does ten a.m. work for you? East coast, uh, west coast, and then will be. She, I think she said noon. Noon Mountain Time. Anyway, we'll chat with you, Star, before we. We'll let you know. See if you are a subscriber, then you'll don't have to worry about it. You'll right. just know. Right. And we'll put it up in our Instagram stories, like we always do. But. I'm looking at the weather. I'll have a new project. Oh my gosh, I get to cast on something new. Yes, I have two right. half knit sweaters. I don't know, because I just finished a sweater. Vincent got, he's been with us most of the morning, I, or a lot of the morning. He just got off and it's he noon. Sh he should ask. I can't believe you're still doing this, right, Vincent? He's like, you I wonder are if he was with the animals here. today. Vincent, I want to day, like, take your friend to work day. I would love to go to work with Vincent. It says it's five degrees out right now. Plus? Yes. It was like minus 40 last week. We live in the weirdest, weirdest place. I probably can't wear this sweater for the rest of the day. Our weather oh, yeah, that's wild. is like the weirdest mood swing. Wild. It's menopausal. He said that Saturday's a half day. 
so he oh, can join. Okay. It's um, hard these times of years when it's been so long since you've seen I your friends. I know most people. Oh, it's really hard for sure. But most people are working now when we choose yes. to do our all the time. So I love that we're choosing to do a Saturday mm -hmm. where a lot of people aren't working. I don't know if they want to come hang out, mm -hmm. but the option is there. Le Labrina said noon works. Okay. Yeah. Is Star she... gave it a thumbs up. Star good? Okay, good. Well, Self good. Then let's do noon. Selfishly, I revisited that because that way I, – I don't mind waking up early, but I like laying in bed on Saturday. Right. It's the first day of the week I don't have – I don't get up to, to do something. Right. So – Okay. Whatevs. Whatevs. Okay, I you feel guys. like we had so much fun stuff today and amazing things to share yes. and parties in our mailbox. Yes. And um, there was lots and lots of – thank you so much to everybody that sent stuff. And Kelly and Amy – you know you're talking when Kelly and Amy said, oh, they just knit a, a sleeve. The whole sleeve? Yes. Bulky weight? <laughs> Fingering. <laughs> Let me tell you, you guys, I can't even tell you how fast the sleeves knit on this sweater. Mm. You know when you knit stripes? Yes. It's like only five rounds of this and seven rounds of that. I did make a Ravelry page too. So if you guys have any questions about striping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This was a pack. I feel like we're Jam packing. Packed. You're welcome. Don't forget if you can, throw us $5 for the knit for food. We so appreciate anything and everything yeah. that people can do. And we're, um, we're determined to... Do the best we can to raise what Absolutely. we can. Absolutely. Yeah. Do I mean we're in it to do as much help as we can. In it to win it. There's no winning, <laughs> you idiot. Yeah. Wait, you know what it is? You know who's gonna win? The, the person people who gets food. That of right. The, the charity. A hundred percent. Yeah. That is what this is all about. Jody just likes to be a shit disturber. Shall we I say? Do. I know I just you like do. To poke the bear. I know you do. Um, but it is a really, really important cause. So yeah. Um. I'm grateful to Laura Nelkin. This is their third year. Lots mm -hmm. of people have been doing this for three years in a row. So um, we would love to participate in this mm -hmm. anytime. Thank you, Pam. Hi, Vicky. Aww. Okay, guys, have an amazing two weeks. We'll see you in two weeks and a few days. We'll yes. see you on Saturday. Yes. Two weeks from now. Yes. Yeah. We hope you guys are making amazing things that make you feel good and relax and yeah. stress-free. Star, I'm hoping you get your book tomorrow. Sometimes she it's might. 24 hours. A lot right. of times it's 24 hours. Well, with a DHL? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All we right, We love you guys. everybody. We will see you in two weeks. Absolutely. Bye. Bye.